and welcome to the second The Old World Battle Report on the Barefoot Miniatures channel. I'm joined today by fantasy man Tian. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was wrong with that? I don't know. I don't like being forced a nickname upon me. Well, you you made up Tian just then. They've literally seen it because I'll have left it in now. Oh, now that you've drawn attention to it, I'll have left it in. <laughs> so we're going to be playing Hearts of Chaos versus Dwarfs. Um, Jebe, this is only the second game of the Whip of Destiny arc. Oh, is so, there still the Whip of Destiny? Well, it's all in the arc, but it's not actually one of the meaningful right. sort of story points, which are mine and Phil's beasts versus... Maybe the horror. Chaos Dwarf that fashioned the Whip is cousin to my king. <gasps> what is your king called? I uh, I'll make up a name seeing on how this game goes. <laughs> so I was he's gonna, got to do something special before he gets a name, essentially. Well, yeah, because my Mordheim warband, he calls himself the king, the dwarf lord, but Just he actually never king. gets into a fight. <laughs> so he has, like, Grom Rilama and double pistol, but never fights. So maybe this is that guy in the future, slightly. Because Mordheim's slightly... I think it's happened just before now. Yeah, so... Yeah, this is 1999 is the is year Mordheim. of Mordheim. Oh, yeah, and this is, like, 22... Yeah, so yeah. he's 200 years in the past, he's Mordheim. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah so he's happening. It's maybe happening. this is this that guy. Maybe, maybe it is. Well, he's all of our characters in the past, right? Yeah, for yeah. sure. There's the confusing intro. Yeah. Do you want to go over your list first? Or yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so we're playing the Drakwald Forest meeting engagement scenario. So that means we've got six inches from the centre line before our deployment zones, yep. and they're diagonal deployment zones, which are the best deployment zones. Because it's not just lining up yeah. and going across the table that way. You can be wide and deep, which is preferred. Oh my god, <laughs> nuance in a game. Yeah. So Ian, you go over your list first. Yeah, sure. So I have a Dwarf King, unnamed. King Grim the King. K king Grim the King of Kazakh Grim. He is on a, uh, being carried by some retainers on a shield. He has a few runes to keep him healthy and safe. Then I have two runesmiths that are almost identical um, because they give weapon buffs, which is quite delicious. Yes. So what, what actually is it that they give to their units? So they give a unit flaming attacks and armor bane two. So on a six to wound, weapons gain two AP, yeah. which is quite good on units like iron breakers. So my iron breakers are, they have Gromwell axes, which are AP one all the time. Yeah. But with that runesmith in there, they can go out to AP3, which is... On a six, yeah. On a six. And a unit of 21 quarrelers. 20 quarrelers. So their crossbows are armor bane one, but with a runesmith in there, they can go to AP... Uh, armor bane. I'm not sure if it stacks. If it goes to AP3... Well, we can double check that while we get to it, right? But they get some delicious AP, which is lovely. So on to core choices. Yes. What have you got for core? So for my core, my king allows me to take one unit of long beards as a core choice. So the long beards are great weapon and shield. Okay. With full command. With full command, of course. The twenty unit of quarrelers have shields. No great weapons because it's too many points. Uh, full command or full command. So yeah, shields and full command. And they they got a one on the reinforcement, so they're actually being deployed off the table at the moment. Yeah. Now one of your runesmiths didn't get a one. He didn't get one, but I decided to leave him in reserve so he yeah. can come in with that unit. So the actual scenario says they can be deployed on the table. We've taken that as they may not be. Yeah. Um, rather than just standing a runesmith at the back of the table waiting for yeah. those reinforcements <laughs> yeah. to come yeah. on. Uh, which have shields, no command. Oh no, a champion, sorry. Then... So what's, is it plus one BS for the champion that's the benefit? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Why not? I'm not even sure he gives leadership because dwarves are... Dwarves are already Ridiculously nine. high, so it's all good. Uh, then we go into my special. So as I said before, 20 Iron Breakers. Full command. Full command. And they... Right, so let they me have... see if I remember. Let yeah. me see if I remember. <laughs> okay. They've got full plate and yes. shield for a three up. Yeah. Right? They've got Gromrel armor for re-rolling ones. Yeah. Yeah. And they've got Grom relaxes for minus one to their armour piercing. Yeah. And a six up ward against flaming attacks. Which, <laughs> being zinc... <laughs> that might be relevant. <laughs> yeah, might come up once or twice. Yeah. Uh, then, further into specials, two cannons. Uh, one with a rune of reloading, which is re... They can fire even if they misfire. Yeah. The following turn. And the other one with a stalwart rune and a rune of reloading. So and that's just so you don't 
you can't have two single runes. The rune of world. jealousy, yeah. So sorry, the rule of jealousy. So you can't have a weapon inscribed exactly the same as another one. Then an organ gun with no runes because it's too new. Uh, no one likes that. <laughs> then uh, have you got yeah. fifteen gyrocopters? No, I don't have fifteen gyrocopters because um, I was weirdly born with a soul. <laughs> so, but not a great soul. I have four gyrocopters in two units of two um, because when we discussed it four by one, we thought it might be too much. Because yeah. just redirecting, they're super tough and they're really cheap. And they've got fire and flea, haven't they, as well? They do have fire and flea, but I'm taking them with steam guns so they can't actually fire. And flea. And flea, yeah, because it's a template weapon. Okay, okay, uh, so there's no like wall of death in this edition, no, <laughs> basically. No. Like there is in, say, like heresy and things like that with templates. No, but flavors in this are actually all right. Because string three with AP1 is actually okay, as opposed to yeah. other game systems where you, everyone has a power armor save, so that's fine. Um, then onto my heroes. We've mentioned the king. Onto your heroes last. Sorry, mention, <laughs> mention the true hero is what I meant. Mention the runesmith, but I forgot that I also have an engineer. Okay. Uh, he can give entrench to one of my war machines, which is really good. And in the shooting phase, he can allow a unit in his command range to re-roll ones to hit or okay. re-roll on artillery dice. So he is actually just going to be... Hiding. He is the hero because he's just loading those cannons better and helping the organ gun shoot really well. So what is the range of that? Are you that's, So your that, position behind the woods, is that yes. within range of re-rolling for both the organ gun and the cannon? So it's his command range, which command range is your leadership, yeah. which is nine. Or ten. Or ten. Uh, so I believe it's nine. So he can affect a unit within nine of him, but he doesn't affect all of them. Okay. Uh, it, but and also because have it's you not, got to pick that before you roll any dice? No, it's just in the shooting phase. So. Right. So you could roll one. Yeah. See if, the result and, and then misfire go, with the oh, organ no, gun. The other one. I'll use it here. Right. Or no one misfired. Cool. That unit of quarrelers is now rerolling ones. Okay. That's how I'm taking it. Good job. It, it your too good. Quarrelers are off the board because <laughs> yeah. I, I, quite, I quite like a three inch move to come onto the board, yeah. preventing your quarrelers from doing too, too much damage this time. Yeah. So, facing the dwarfs, the mighty dwarfs, yeah. I have got Jebe Khan on the rise to glory. <laughs> so, he has got Mark of Zinch, and most of my army will have Mark of Zinch, so I'll just say when someone's not got it. Actually, okay. rather than when they've got it. Yeah, fine. He's got great weapon, shield, and steed. His mighty steed. Does the horse have a name? The horse does not yet, because he's horse from the storyline that I know about already in Sith. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, 200 years from now. His horse died. Yeah, Jebe has got just favour of the gods, and I've already told Ian that I've got this, so that I'm going to be re-rolling one across the game, favour of the gods. So if I ever right. become stupid from a one... I'm going to re-roll that. Into a one. <laughs> Probably into a one. I've done that before. So he's got that. I've then got three heroes, because I'm going to do these all at the same time rather than one at the end. I've got an exalted sorcerer with Mark of Zinch, who is level two on foot. And she has got blue fire, which is the Zinch spell. It's minus two AP, 18 inch range, D6 plus three for the amount of shots. And they've also got... <laughs> I know, he's quite good, good, right? It's quite good. They've also got an assailment. This is yep. 10 plus to cast. An assailment comes in the shoot in the combat phase. Combat phase. I also get to strike in combat, you told me today. I think we do, yeah. We'll double check it when we get yeah. there, but hopefully that will be great. It's strength two, so I'll be wounding you on sixes, but okay. no armor saves, which is excellent. Yeah, very good. I've then got an exalted sorcerer with Mark of Zinch, level two steed which has got blue fire. This is my signature spell, so I can just pick it yeah. and replace something else. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that blue fire again, minus two AP, 18 inch range magic missile, and also demonic familiars, which gives me plus one strength, plus one attack, and an extra AP to my weapons, which was amazing. That's delicious. That sorcerer is on my left, or the left flank as you will be looking at it now, and it'll have a red dot to locate it. I've put them out of the unit, but not closest to Ian, so he can't shoot at them. Okay. And so that I can hopefully intercept those gyrocopters a little bit with a magic missile if something else doesn't help me out with the gyrocopters. Now, going into my core, I've got three units of Marauder Horse. They're all identical. They've all got Musician, Champion, Flails. Okay. Throwing Axes and Shield. 
And one of those is starting in reserve. One of those is starting in reserve. Cool. Now, I've got one on my far left flank and one that's skirmishing in the centre, hopefully to deal with the gyrocopters on the other side. I've got eight forsaken, which are essentially like uncontrollably mutating people. Uh, they're in a big long line in the centre. If I'm in a big long line and they all got get D3 magical attacks, they might do some damage if I just slam into something, even yeah. if they don't stick around in combat. Yeah. I've got two units of five Warhounds that were essentially there to be drops so that I could see what Ewan was doing. And they'll also be quite good for like redirecting charges. One is vanguarded on one side and we'll be getting out of the way of the knights. Yep. Which brings me into the six chosen Chaos Knights. They've got full command, lances, mark of zinch, full plate and drilled. Now drilled will be really good for where they are. I've... On the map in the corner of the screen now, they're on the far right. When we yep. start playing, they're on my far left. Cool. Right. Um, I put them there and they've got drilled so they can go into a marching column. Now, yeah. what I know because of like being able to pre-measure in this edition yeah. is that I can go into my column, zoom up the board 21 inches. Because when you a marching column, you triple your move. Yeah, you triple yeah. your move. Very good. That'll allow me to get round the side of the hill and actually be out of line of sight of Ian's artillery. And it was because I had more drops than Ian that I could wait until yeah. that... I knew where those cannons were and I spotted that little quirk of his yeah. deployment and have managed to capitalise on it. And it's one of the benefits of my very fast army. So that is also where Jebe is going in. He's going to be a baller. Hopefully I won't need to use the counter charge rule that he's losing them. But <laughs> <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Yeah. I've got a spawn that's like near the centre of my line that will hopefully intercept some gyrocopters. And I've, then yeah. I've got 20 chosen Chaos Warriors They've got full command, shield, mark of zinch, full plate, and drilled. Lovely. So drilled, again, I can reform and stuff. I don't know how much I'm going to use it this game from the centre, but yeah. if I'd have needed to deploy on some of the flanks, going into a marching column again, zooming up, and then next turn coming back out yeah. would have been really helpful. It's the risk of going into the marching column, right? You get 33% more yeah. movement. Brilliant. But you're also not in a desirable fighting form. If someone has... If someone has cannons or bolt throwers, you've got to be really careful with it. Yeah. Because someone could just True. zip down your line or zip down your file yes. and kill everyone in a row by getting lots of hits. Whereas when I'm facing off against you, I only sort of want to be three deep, which yeah. is the maximum rank bonus, so that you're not killing that many. If someone doesn't have that much artillery pieces that can zoom through things, you can more easily go into these long marching column yeah. formations and exploit that mobility. So it's, if you basically, if you're watching this and you've not played or looked through the rules much, if you can take Drilled, buy it, yeah. and it will, even if not in one particular game, but say you play five games with the same list, yeah. it is an immensely good rule. For rough, it's, we've noticed it's usually a point per model yeah. in a unit. So you're paying five or six points on that Chaos Knight unit. The Warriors are paying 20 for that flexible option. Always, every, yeah. every single time. I've I bought it for two of my units because it's. Oh, you didn't mention it. He was going to oh, leave sorry. it out. So go on. What units have you got it on? Uh, on my Ironbreakers and my Longbeards. As as I would have guessed. Yes. <laughs> the the Quarrelers unfortunately can't, even though they're in a big block and deploying in a big big block. But yeah, it's one of those rules that seems very good. very flexible and very good when you use it. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. And it's something that I think will help offset the dwarf slowness in this edition. Yeah. Like absolutely. then being able to go into a column because essentially you can do it at the start of your turn before declaring charges. Yeah. You can't charge when you're in a marching column. Yes. But what you can do is with drilled come out into your normal ranks and then charge. So dwarves will be going nine and it'll alleviate some of that lack yeah. of mobility that dwarves have always suffered from. They're, they're now faster than a human. Yeah. Unless the humans also march in column. But, you know. Yeah, or drilled. Yeah. Like, if yeah. humans moving, drilled, moving moving faster. Is, yeah, it's really... It's, well, it's sort of good because it shows how organised dwarf formations will be yeah. with that drill drill. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you like watching this game, don't forget to do all the youtube -y stuff. Uh, like, comment and subscribe. It lets me know that you want to see more Total War. Total War? <gasps> It lets me, <laughs> lets me know that you want to see more of the Old World content uh, and I'll prioritise it as a game. Yeah. If you really like it, there is a Patreon link below where you can support the channel that little bit more. You can get... Patreons <laughs> will have got this video on the 21st 
and it will come out the next Saturday for everyone else. And that going forwards will continue. Cool. You get access to the Discord, dice, a dice tray, and a podcast version of the Tuesday videos. Cool. And with that, we'll see you in the game. So, Chaos Turn 1. I run the roll off despite Ian having plus one, uh, which was great for me. <laughs> yeah. So, does my sorcerer want to cast like vigor on herself? <laughs> No, 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 she's gonna. <laughs> she's not gonna do that. Hi. I'm just gonna declare some charges. Cool. So, my skirmishing fast cab here are gonna go into Ian's very far forward placed gyrocopters. Yeah. And my line of Marauder Horsemen with Exalted Champion is gonna charge into Ian's gyrocopters on the cool. right. Yeah, I will hold. With both of them? Both blue reactions. Yeah. Okay, so on the right, we've got. And I'll talk through the charge. We've got like nine, Nine. like 10 inches. Yeah. 10 inches. So how we do this is we roll 2d6 and pick the highest. Yep. So we've got three. Yes. Because I've got Swift Stride as a cavalry unit, I can roll an additional d6. Now that can only extend my charge range by a maximum of three. So it's a total of nine on these two dice is the maximum. Yeah. So that's seven, and then I add my movement value, which is seven, because I've got a character in there. Uh -huh. So that's 14, and I needed a 10, so cool. I'm in. So I go straight forwards a little bit to miss the dogs, and then round and get into those gyros. And you have to try and maximize. Yes, please. And we're both on the wrong size basis, that's fine. <laughs> uh, right, so one of the things of this is we the old world still being new. We have the wrong size bases on some things, like yep. my horsemen, my dogs aren't, and my infantry. Yeah, my gyro should some be Some of on. them are and some aren't. Gyro should be 50s, but... Ah, uh, right, yeah, but who, who cares? So, <laughs> not who cares. One of the things is, it's in the rules that you can play on various different base sizes and it won't yep. make too much difference. And that's because everyone in the front rank will always get one attack. Yeah. So, that unit of Marauder Horse, they've all got one attack anyway, so... It's the same. Yes. Over here, I roll my three dice, pick the two highest, basically, and get a maximum of nine. Yep. So that's seven, plus my movement of eight now, because they've not got a character in there. Cool. And you're, you're also <laughs> a skirmishers. Yeah, I'm skirmishers, so I can move through all the, the terrain. All the pretty things. Cool. Yeah. So, quality. And now we've got two skirmisher units ranking up against each other. Yeah. I've only got six, so that's a total of... What is it? 180 mil? Yeah. You've got, you're meant to be on 50s, are you? Yeah, I should be 100. Right. So I'm going to have, including corner to corners, five into you. But everyone gets an attack. Yes. Yeah, yeah everyone gets yeah. one. Because of the, the whole, f it's called fighting rank, we have discovered. So yeah. your whole fighting rank, which is your front rank, gets to fight with one attack, and anyone in base to base or corners. It's yeah. their full complement of attacks. Well, I think it's a really nice difference between, say, like... Oh, it's the middle ground between step up in eighth, where everyone got to fight regardless yeah. of dying, and then initiative didn't really matter. And sixth, where you couldn't step up... But you get wraparound. That was, like, after the second well, you, round of combat? After second round. Yeah. But no one... It wasn't massively used. No. But I think with this, it's sort of, like you can get a front rank long enough that not everyone's gonna die yeah. when someone charges you. Yeah. So it's just a nice middle ground. So yeah. into remaining moves, I'm gonna go into my Chaos Warrior block, who is, you've got a maximum of nine inch charge yeah. from these. So yeah. nine inches gets me here. Now, I do want to use the magic missile with my caster. So you better not march. Yeah. What I might actually do is split off. So I'm going to initially move my character out of the unit four inches. And then I'm going to march up with my actual troops and be just outside Ian's nine. Lovely. Because I don't quite fancy... You don't fancy a king in his long beard? Right? No, not <laughs> charging me. I'll happily charge them. Yeah. On this side of the board, my dogs are just going to march and get out of the way soon a bit. 
and my Chaos Knights are going to drill to change their formation. This is what we were talking about in the intro. Um, and the easiest way I found of doing this, if especially with like moving back and things like that, and actually my dogs are gonna go to there to be extra out of the way, cool. is just flip the unit, turn the models on the side so you know they're going that way. <laughs> <laughs> They'll fall over because they're heavy Chaos Knights from sickbed and then move your distance. So the knights are moved. I'm not in a line of here within two inches of the center of the wood. So the, the cannon can fire at my warriors, but not at my knights down this nice marching column. Which is a bit of a shame. That Ian would want to do. He's also made me move into three wide, so I've just moved the unit rather than doing the fast way. Well, I mean, you can, I mean we're all doing this for pretty pictures, right? Yeah, fine, yeah. fine. Uh, my Forsaken in the middle, are they random move or normal move? They're normal move. Cool, lovely. Gonna go to there. My spawn, which is random move, uh, is going to random move like this way. Cool. Oh, probably. Whoa, super fast. Excellent. It's like he's got well, he is a legs. horse. It's almost like he's a horse. Like a horse. Well, he's a Sentai horse. <laughs> <laughs> a mighty, mighty horse. My character over here, oh, he's gonna single move. <laughs> Rot row. I'm gonna single move my seven inches. So my sorcerer is on top of the hill, the dogs are in front, and that's so she's got a unit that she can hide behind yep. and be within six of, so that the thunderers can't just blast her. Um, and that's all my movement. So into the magic phase. There is no magic phase. There is when I, I've not done any shooting and I'm playing chaos, so I've got no <laughs> shooting. <laughs> oh, the chaos, the chaos magic. Yeah, exactly. Which is also the shooting. It's the only, it's the only <laughs> phase I've got to do. Okay, cool. I'm going to cast a magic missile from here, which is blue fire of zinch. Lovely. Who would you like to cast on? I'm going to cast it on your organ gun. <clears throat> That's mean. Okay. So dwarves have an innate magic resistance of minus one. Okay. Where have you got your runesmith? There is one in my Iron Breaker unit. Whereabouts? Are you within 18 inches of me? Ooh, because maybe. it's based on caster to caster rather than yes. anything else. So Ian can do a wizardly dispel, I can. essentially. So I'm going to roll 2d6. It doesn't even go off, Ian, don't bother. <laughs> That's my I dwarf don't miss magic, magic resistance. Innate magic yeah, resistance. Lovely. On the other side of the board, my wizard is going to... Oh, can you measure to your cannon? Uh, just outside A2. I'll do it into your thunder then. Cool. So this one I can try and uh, fate dispel? Yes, fate yeah. dispel. So I don't get any uh, casting value. Added. No, I no, you don't discuss get level. Dispelling value, sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to roll 2d6 and add my wizard level. That's seven. And do you know what, Ian? Do you know what? Does it go off exactly? It doesn't go off at all. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> yes, for the magic phase. Yeah, cool. Um, and then we'll get into combat. So for my Gaze of the Gods at the start of the turn, yep. I'm going to do this every turn because I've got Favour of the Gods for that reroll. Cool. My Chaos Lord is going to roll on the table. Five, so that's something good. Ian, what are you guessing this is going to be? Tentacles. I'm going to guess it's plus one strength. Okay. Demonic Visage. I've not looked yet. We're going. Cool. Yeah, yeah. You I, reckon I, reckon I reckon you're going to get that. Dark Fury, we were both wrong. Plus one attacks, that's pretty tasty. Uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Pretty yeah. good. I'm not worried. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> um, and yeah, combat phase. So we're going to start with the combat that doesn't involve an Exalted Champion, because I want to cheer myself up at the end. Okay. I've got six Marauders, one of which is the Champion, so that's seven attacks. Lovely. I'm weapon skill four, Ian. What weapon skill are you? I'm also weapon skill four. So I need fours to hit. Fours to hit. That's two. It's <laughs> my magic resistance mode as well. <laughs> well, I have got flaming magical attacks. Oh no. I'm strength three, but I've got a flail, so I'm strength five. Cool, and I am tough as five. Ugh. <laughs> yep. And then I've got six horses. The horses be mad. The real heroes. Good at kicking Sixes. helicopters. Ah, one, yes. Cool. Now, what armor do you have? Uh, dwarfen full plate. So a full plus so. Is that any different to full plate? 
Uh, no. It's smaller. It's <laughs> smaller, yeah. No? Yes! One dry club takes a wood. Yes! I've at least got one combat res now. You do. Now, Ian, how many yes. attacks do you have back? I have four attacks back. What second skill? Four? Four, yeah. So hitting me on fours. These are terrible dice to use. Those are terrible. Yeah. You've got three hits, but roll something else next time. <laughs> <laughs> what strength are you in? Uh, strength four, and you're strength, toughness. Oh, strength four? Yeah. Strength, your pilot is strength four? Yeah, I'm a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> and your toughness three? Toughness three, of course, yeah. That's so two wounds on you. So two wounds. I have got... <laughs> I'm so gonna die now. This shouldn't happen! <laughs> <laughs> you just needed to roll better. I've got light armour. Yep. And horses no longer add plus one. You've got to have barding for that. Yes. So I've just got light armour. Okay. Come on them sixes! No, two die. Perfect. So... <laughs> per perfect. He's not perfect, Ian. I like it. So two die. I've got one combat res, you've got two. Yep. So it goes to one. Have you got any other bonuses that I should know about? No. No. So I lose by one. Now I'm going to check whether I'm in 12 inches range for my general's, general's leadership. leadership. Nice. So my general's leadership range... <laughs> Can you... Do you want me to check with the... I know, we know that house is on the corner yeah, there. Yeah, cool. Oh, I am with my 12 inch ruler. Lovely. Excellent. So I'm leadership nine as a chaos lord. I've lost by one and I'm going to do two tests on this one roll. Yep. So basically I pass my modified roll. That means I give ground. Yep. And if Ian wants to follow up into combat, we just count as an ongoing combat. Yeah. No so charge I get push back really two inches. Yeah. Ian, what are you going to do? Uh, I will not pursue. I will test are you, to... Are you sure? Yeah. To test to restrain? Test to restrain. I restrain myself. <laughs> Didn't even need to be a dwarf to pass that. <laughs> no. So, into the combat over the other side, we've got my exalted champion, yes. who is an exalted champion of chaos. Hopefully I'll show them Marauder Horsemen what they should have done. And what weapon do you have? She's got a lance. Oh. So she's weapon skill six, so I'm hitting you on threes. Yep. That's slightly less than that. <laughs> yeah. I'm strength five base plus two for a lance, so I'm strength seven. So we'll so, be on two. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's just. But the excellent. marauders are going to do very well, so it's fine. I'm first going to do the iron shod hooves of her chaos okay. steed. Okay. Hits. Lovely. It's got strength four because so, it's a chaos steed. Nice. No. No. <laughs> not, not that strong. Nothing. Then I'm going to have six Marauder Horse with a champion, so that's seven total attacks. Cool. So I can't possibly roll this bad again. No. I've got fours to hit. There we go. There we go. I've got strength five. I need fours again for yep. my flails. Indeed. Three wounds? So it's three wounds, nice. and that might be an armor piercing, because I'm hoping against hope. So those three wounds are minus two AP, but not armor piercing, so Ian is on a six up save. Yeah. Four down to a six. I get... No saves, so it kills an entire gyrocopter. Excellent, and then I've got six horses. I've got four hits from the horses. I need sixes to wound with them. I get one more wound. Nice. So a four up save, he's okay. Loves it. Um, so Ian, your attack's back, you've got yep. two now. I've got two attacks because one gyrocopter died. I'm weapon skill four against your four. I hit once, I'm strength four against your tough three. A single wound. Um, and it'll just be on a Marauder, right? On a Marauder. So six, no. Cool. One dies, which gives us a difference in combat res. Yep. Of two. Two. So Ian is on minus two for his modified test. Yep. And my leadership is nine, so... Are you within range of one of your um, characters? No, my general is miles away. But what about one of your other characters? Also no, unfortunately. <laughs> also no. <laughs> uh, so at nine... We so Ian passes his modified, modified test. So I, as over there, just give ground. Yep, and I will definitely pursue. Now the difference in these is that Ian didn't want to pursue over this other side to be going into his turn. Yes. So he's going to have the ability to either charge or just go somewhere else. Yep. On the other side, I don't want to be stood in front of them thunderers. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm going to follow up in my turn because I want to be in that combat and yep. lock Ian in that combat. Yeah. Um, 
And with that, we'll go into dwarfs turn one. Ian, into your dwarfs turn one. Yes. Command phase, do you want to rally any of those gyrocopters I really successfully fended off in my turn? I think... With uh, my chaos warriors that are all about fighting in combat? Uh, they'll just stay doing what they were doing, which is... Uh, <laughs> Winning. Destroying your soul. They're yes. doing it very well. Well, that toughness five full plate really does me in. Does um, it? Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought it was the weapon skill four and three wounds. <laughs> the weapon skill four and three wounds I can get on board with. But, yeah. Cool, so for mm. my turn, uh, I've got no command phase, strategy phase stuff to declare. Yeah. I am not declaring any charges. So it will just be some shuffling about to get good line of sight for my guns. Okay. So, where are we going first? Uh, I'm going to reform with my King's Longbeard unit, and they well, are going to... Swivel on the spot. Swivel, and decide that they are going to fight some... Chaos Knights. Chaos Knights this time. Well, Chaos Knights are the Chaos Knights of the old world, so... Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you, you also... In Do this you not want to reform so that I can train through your cannons afterwards? I'd love you to do that. No, I don't think I want that, actually. Right, okay. Because that kills my cannon. Okay, fair. Uh, this unit is going to, I believe it's called Step Side. I thought you wanted to charge because that was um, <laughs> within nine inches of the, no, the spawn, actually. Because if I fail the charge, they'll move the highest D6 forwards, which will probably put them here with an average roll, which is right in front of the cannon that wants to buy So I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to step sideways, which is... No, you can't march while doing that because you can only do one type of manoeuvre in a turn, yeah. of which turning to the side, like well, you can, yeah. this. So, turn to the side, step over, turn back to the front. Yeah, but everyone turns in place is what yes. I'm trying to say, yeah. rather than the actual unit. Yeah. So it be, you become like three deep and however. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, on with the turn. Seven. <laughs> yeah, three by seven. Three by seven. The other things I'm going to do is Dwarvish, which is standing still. And Ooh, shooting, that's very Dwarvish. And shooting guns. Yeah, and it, this might not be the best battle report to showcase the, the change in no, we are the trying to, rules. We're, we're trying to learn the rules so that more dynamic, different battles can happen in the future. Yeah, but my particular army being so fast sort of forces, because I've experienced this in sixth, even other like medium speed armies tend to end up quite static. And have to cast a lot, just to be able to yeah, fight. Yeah, 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 because I'm going to wrap so much. Yeah. So yeah, into the shooting phase. Yeah, first shot will be my 10 Thunderers yeah. are going to shoot into your Chaos Spawn. Spawn. Yes. Okay. I'm not sure how many dice I have. I guess I'll just take it. Perfectly 10. Oh, good, good choice. Uh, so, oh. Well, are you over half range with anyone? I haven't even finished the movement phase. I apologise completely. So my gyrocopter is just going to walk or fly, not march. Yes. And as a skirmisher, I can move any direction. Yeah. They will move like so. Right, okay. Continuing with the shooting phase. So my 10 Thunderers, yeah, I need to check some ranges. So they are 24 maximum. So, so everyone's got, within 12, right? Uh, no, all but two, two, two are out. So two will be hitting on fives because of long range. Sorry. So it's a hit from hit. that. And then the other eight will be hitting on fours. So I'll just grab the hits, which is not many. So that's three total hits. Yep. It might be enough. I think I've only got three wounds. But <laughs> I have got a toughness of five. Okay, so five to wound with a strength four handgun. So one with one wound. an armor bane one. And they're one inherent AP, so two. All right, so you actually do a wound to me. I do. Because I've got heavy armour. Oh, really? So oh, it just lovely. ignores it. Nice. So it's nice that you got that armour bay one off, otherwise Indeed. I'd have got to roll a dice, and we all know we don't like our opponents rolling dice. <laughs> so <laughs> next into... Yeah. Next I'm going to will... use my psychic powers, a cannon. Well, you're completely wrong. The Hellblaster. It's going to be a cannon. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the other cannon. It's going to be the other cannon, yeah. So I'm going to shoot at your Chaos... Are they chosen? Or just Chaos They are chosen, yeah. Of course, so the chosen Chaos Warriors. The, do you know why they're chosen? I used them as core in my, in my first battle report. This one, because I've got more Marauder Horse, I came to exactly 500 points on the dot of core. Perfect. So they could go in special as right. chosen. Right, okay. Yeah. Cool, so this cannon over on your right, as you guys are watching, yes. uh, this cannon will shoot at the Chosen Chaos Warriors. 
Yeah. Uh, it works like eighth, where you pick a point. I'm going to pick six inches in front of your. Oh, you go for six inches in front, do you? Yeah, I'll go for six. So. Right. So that, that's an arbitrary guess. I will then roll an artillery dice, and this is where the initial shot actually lands. Yes. Six. So it actually goes on the front tip of that one person's on the, base. On the front tip of the front guy. So that's where the shot hits, and now it skips across the ground. Yeah. A further... Oh, he wanted that 10, he's lost <laughs> it. Oh, a, further, a further four inches. Well, two. Uh, sorry, further two inches. Yeah. <laughs> so he playing. goes basically through two people. Just two people get, get hit. Now, let's just explain one thing there. Just because it's the first time we're doing cannons. Yeah. You check... To hit, see the amount of people that you can actually hit in total, you check what arc you're in. Yep. So because Ian was in the side, he could actually hit to a maximum of my co of my rank. <laughs> rank, rank. rank. How far the rank is. How, how, file. how wide the rank is. How wide the rank is. Is it a rank? What's a file? <laughs> We're not describing this well. It could be seven. <laughs> anyway. It could be up to seven models if I was perfectly in your side. Yes. Because you are seven wide. Uh, but this way, I would have maximum have hit four or five. Yeah, because you actually trace the root of the cannon and what bases they clip. Yep. But so he's lucky for me that Ian got that too. Yeah. Because now he's only hit two models, not a maximum of seven. Yeah. So now the cannon is strength eight. Yeah. Twos. Uh, two so it's less eight. than that. Oh. I'm as apparently <laughs> as good as a, a chaos exalted champion with flail. It turns out. <laughs> Seems so. Yeah. So the first um, cannon was a dud. I'm, it turns I'm out. very happy about that. Good. I'm <laughs> less so. Mildly perturbed. Uh, my organ gun will now shoot into your chosen chaos warriors. Okay. So the way this works is an artillery dice. I get six shots on my first. Yeah. And another artillery dice. I get four shots on my second. So that's ten total. Is so it's, it always two dice or is it? Uh, this one is always two. Yep. So if you roll a misfire on your first. You're minus one to hit. Yeah. Uh, and then you roll your second dice, and that's how many shots you get total. If you roll a misfire on both, you then go to the misfire table. Oh, so you got to roll the misfire on both? Yeah, so, so it's a double misfire, otherwise, it's just a minus one. So if, on either dice. So it's less likely to explode than the cannon that dwarfs like to explode. So I got 10 possible hits with my organ gun, so it's 10 shots. I'm ballistic skill four. Are you over half range? I think you're within I'm, 15. I'm within 15. So I'm just hitting you on fours. Okay. Oh, I don't like that. That's quite good. And it is strength five, and your toughness four. Four, because I'm so a chaos warrior. I used to it. Excellent. Used to it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Um, so I've got full plate. Yes. And a shield for a three up save, and I've got a six up ward after that. So for the four to wound, uh, it's minus one AP, because that's the standard for an organ gun. But the six gives it armor bane two, so it goes up to AP three. Okay. So I'm gonna use Ian's dice that we, <laughs> I got basically based on a bet that yep. we made last time I saw him. Mm -hmm. So if that comes up a six, I've saved that one. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one will be the minus one. So, so that gives me a four up save. Wow. Lovely. So green is sixes, neither. No, both on my side. And sixes for my chaos armor. <laughs> that was <laughs> terrible. <laughs> that, it was. That was really bad, really bad. <laughs> so that's two dead, but they're yes. not yet enough for a break check because that would have to be a total of six casualties. Nice. Uh, the next will be... The other cannon. The other cannon. Uh, so I, again, we'll do six inches in front of the unit which we'll arbitrarily put roughly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then an artillery dice is where it hits. So it's straight on the first dude. Yeah, hits the first guy and then it bounces Six. all the way through the unit. So essentially now, because he's in the front, he can hit a maximum of three. Yeah. So there's no point counting because we know he's gone through the whole unit. Indeed. Um, so, so Ian's got three total hits. It yes. doesn't stop after the first model. No. If you if say even fails to wound own. like in yeah. previous editions, yeah. so we're just going to roll the three to Indeed. wounds right now. Yeah, so strength eight and your top four, so twos to wound. Slightly yeah. better this time. It's so minus two AP, but armor bane. Armor bane two, yeah. Is it armor bane two? <laughs> it's armor bane two. It's a cannonball. Yeah. Well, so the six will be 
an AP of minus four, and the other two will be AP minus two. So the AP minus four gives me no save. Ah. And I do have my six up ward though. You do. And the other two. Uh, five up be, saves. Yeah, Three, five four, ups. Five, yep. Hopefully, I can roll some good. Okay. Three ward saves for you. Rolling, <laughs> I'm never rolling. Is that three ones in a row? Each, on that each three ones and twos okay. in a row, I believe. And no saves there. And you're oh, ward the, off the, the big, third one. Big one. Cool. <laughs> that was horrendous. <laughs> well, at least Ian's chosen to do his flame template last, yeah. which means he'll get less hits. True. Cool. My so that is all my. Artillery shooting. Yes. War, war machine shooting, sorry. Then I will, yeah, I will do two flame templates. So, um, yeah. The after a little bit of just like placing <laughs> the template around, because I've got yeah. spears as well, yeah. we, Ian ends up with eight just hits yep. and ten total partials ten total between partials. the two. So he's four up to hit the partials. Yep. And has anyone with even a small percent of their base not fully yeah. covered is a partial. So the partials are successful to. Four up. Yeah. So you can get six, which is good for him. Yeah, so six. And then, could I borrow some of your dice? I'm going to have to have some bone dice. So I almost picked up the dice, which have been <laughs> not proven to roll badly. I need those as well. <laughs> You're not having them. Sorry. You can have an unmarked red one. Okay. And actually, they rolled ones and twos last time. So, yeah, <laughs> okay. no. so then, those six partials are now six hits. And yeah. these are the four and four hits of the original shot. So that's a total of 14. 14 potentials. Strength three, and your toughness four. So fives. So he needs fives. Yes. It's not the greatest, but it's still five. Not the best. But these are AP minus one. AP minus one gives me a four up save. Lovely. Four, and then a six up ward. So that's three total. That is abysmal. Cool. Call it two because you rolled too many saves. <laughs> you rolled one too many saves. Oh, dear. So we just killed two. Yeah. <laughs> that is absolutely abysmal. <laughs> uh, right, so that's definitely a panic check for them. That's a panic check. Is that you done shooting? That is all of my shooting, yeah. So I'm going to get back those dice that rolled badly. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but ones and two. <laughs> they all roll badly. They're fine though. They are absolutely with the leadership fine. of near character. Lovely. And I'm not Skaven. <laughs> so Ian wants to skip ahead to my turn, but I was desperate <laughs> to do this combat against yep. the gyrocopter. Um, I followed up into your unit, so neither of us have got the charge bonus. No. You were initiative dwarf though, and I'm initiative human. Yes. I've Even got an, an exalted. Human. I've got an exalted champion with yeah. a lance, so that's just going to be a hand weapon this turn. Okay. Because it's an ongoing combat. I've not charged you again. I've got four attacks with weapon skill higher than yours because I'm chaos champion. Nice. I actually hit this turn. Very good. I need fours. Fours. Your strength because five? I'm strength five. Yeah. As a chaos champion. I'm tough five. So I've got one wound with an ensorcelled weapon. With an ensorcelled weapon. Lovely. Ensorcelled is minus one to my save. So a. Four up goes to a five. Nice. Yes, how many wounds have you got left? Two left. Two left. Yes. Right, my champion, and I've got five total marauders left for six total of attacks. I'm gonna be weapon skill four versus four. Yep. So that's fours. And then because I've not got a flail in the ongoing combat, sixes. No. Wonderful. I've then got a horse, which is weapon, which initiative higher than dwarf. <laughs> yes. This is the chaos steed doesn't hit, and I've got five total marauder horse horses. Uh, do you know what? <laughs> Where is this like sort of slightly higher than good rolling come? I've not no. got anything. Though. Are you saying that you haven't seen a horse kick a helicopter before? <laughs> it happens all the time. No, but I have rammed a Lehman Russ with a. Uh, sorry, rammed a Thunderhawk with a Lehman Russ before. Perfect. Excellent. That's, uh, he's similar, right? Yeah, basically. <laughs> So two attacks on weapon skill four, so I'm hitting you on fours. A single hit, and strength four, toughness three. So three is the wound. One wound for you. I have armor save six up. No. <laughs> String of ones. <laughs> and I think we have drawn combat. But yes. I win because I've got a musician, yes! <laughs> the most relevant five points. Uh, cool, so my leadership is nine, down to eight. 
Yes, oh, no. yes. No. I'm definitely pursuing that. Yeah, so I flee, properly flee. <laughs> flee, flee. Uh, and You're going to use your swift stride. 2d6, yeah. and I'm going to use swift stride. So I will be going 10 down to 9 because dwarves are resolute. <laughs> I got more than that. Oh, delicious. <laughs> I got 16. Nice. And I think I'm going to contact your, your thunderers, You're which will deny hand? you a stand and shoot, which yeah. is amazing for Max. So you'll be coming in at 16, which will hit me here, but then we have to maximize anyway. So it's lovely. Yeah. Quality. Nice. Do you know what? That's pretty good. It's, it's all looking. It's all looking up. Yeah, and this is a fresh charge, so yeah. all those flails become flails again. And I'd just like to say to everyone, take a musician. So I don't <laughs> take, I've not taken. I don't take many standards across my army because I don't want to give up trophies of war points. Yeah. And also, I like the theme of just having this one tug banner yeah. that's yeah. around, right? But take a musician. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't give up any points. Yeah. It's additions to rally. Yeah, plus one leadership to your rally, yeah. which is good. And it does stuff like that, especially for light units on the flanks. Yeah. So, now that is into Chaos turn two. Okay. So my favourite of the gods at the start of the turn, I get a Ooh. two, which means that this turn... I'm going weapon skill again. You're going to go weapon <laughs> Just every skill. time. It's one in six, right? <laughs> I get plus one initiative characteristic. Perfect. Do I re-roll that, considering I'm about to charge? And you're also an initiative great weapon, so... I am an initiative great It's basically irrelevant. Yeah. No, I'm not, because if I roll it and get a one, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so, into Chaos turn two. Yes. Now, we have a couple of charges on here, because I've realised that Ian, moving his gyrocots out of the way of this skirmishing unit yep. of Marauder Horse, puts me... Basically, I'm 15 inches away from that cannon, the last two of which is through difficult terrain. So, oh, I'm- But you're a So my Marauder horse in skirmish, yeah. I've got the 360 line and I'm gonna charge Ian's cannon. Perfect. Now that cannon is 15 inches away. Um, and how you charge through cover is you roll your 2d6 as normal, but discard the highest, not the lowest. Yeah. Um, but it's, I think it's worth it to try and charge that cannon. Yeah. My knights here are going to drill out of their... Redress the ranks. Yeah. Yep. Out of their marching column and into a line, and that's going to allow me to blast the end longbeards Delicious. in the face. Cool. So over with the Chaos Knights, now that they're out of their formation, yeah. I'm seven inches away from Ian, uh -huh. and then we will wheel in. So I can't fail that. Ian obviously knows all this information because of pre-measure. Yeah. Ian, what do you want to do with your charge reactions? I would like to hold. With both of them? Here? And yeah, I'll hold. You with can't the, do anything hold with the cannon. Hold with the cannon. Yeah. Uh, or you abandon the cannon and it gets destroyed. Oh, anyway. can you choose to abandon the cannon? Let's say no. <laughs> <laughs> because why would you ever abandon the cannon? <laughs> exactly, right? Right. So, Chaos Knights move in because their seven inch move is yep. the seven that they need. And we'll close the gap. Yes. Oh, look, our lords are in combat with each other. Delightful. Um, and my Marauder Horse. Now, the bone dice are the normal charge dice, the, re the black dice is the swift strike. I discard the highest and that's not good for Max. No, that's so not I'm good. So I'm eight inch move, plus the five is 13, and I'm two inches away from Ian's cannon yes. because it's 15 inch. So I'm actually just inside the woods. Not too good. I could have really done with that charge going off. So because of the fail charge, I move forward the distance of the dice. Yes. That's added, so that's one, plus my swift stride for a total of five. Yes. So into the normal movements, I'm going to send my spawn. <laughs> Which direction? <laughs> Am I within 12 of that cannon, Ian? Uh, maybe, yeah, I think so. Because I was in a halfway range with some thunderers. Yeah, so ten. Nine, nine and change at ten. I'm going to go directly towards the cannon. That's a good idea. <laughs> You're almost halfway there. He did well last turn, he did. but he didn't do so well this turn. No. And then it's just everyone else getting on with chaos stuff. Yes. Um, right, who wants to go where? My Forsaken and Movement 5 
Ooh, they're rapido. <laughs> <laughs> so they're in line with the spawn. Cool. And I actually want to move back a bit because I don't fancy getting charged by iron breakers. What's the initiative of your iron breakers? They, with a charge of over three inches, three inches or more, will go up to initiative five. Ah, so I want to be away from you. <laughs> yeah. Is it the light? My, my max charge is nine. Or my charge. So max. I'm going to be a nine and a quarter away. Cool. <laughs> He's not, basically, don't get charged by a dwarf unit. No. Like, I don't mind doing the combat and dying after I run into you, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not being run into by the dwarf okay. unit. Now, I've, I've, I've only got to assume that the knights are going to wipe out those long beards because yeah. they just sort of have to. They've got no help this turn and won't have any help for the second round of combat if that happens. So my warriors might as well go somewhere else. So I'm going to drill a little bit. So I've had a bit of conundrum with these warriors. Now, it might feel like a bit of a waste that they've chosen Chaos Warriors just going after a couple of war machines, but I'm gonna march them right up to those war machines and force him to do something about me, basically. Um, I, he's not gonna be able to charge me with these other things, but it's just gonna force him to, yeah, to just do something. Just see if you were march blocked by my gyrocopters. Oh, you didn't point out before sorry, I moved them. Sorry. Hiya. Love it. It's fine. Um, right. Next, my dogs are gonna swivel on the spot for a quarter of their move, and then go like five inches on because I might as well get them back in. Yep. Yes, it was thirty points that sort of wasted, but basically my where my knight should go got revealed after I'd already placed him there. And I'm not too bothered about... <laughs> 30 points of dogs. Yeah, 30 points of dogs yeah. versus my unit of knights. So my four-inch move... I'm going to move to within the space of this unit here so that I'm a bit more protected. My dogs on the other side of the battlefield are going to come over to here. Now that the Thunderers are locked in combat for now, yep. I don't need to protect this character as much, so she's gonna move seven off the hill and can't be seen now, and um, but is within range of other units. Right, we've got my unit of Marauder Horse that was coming on in the compulsory move section. To get into the game as fast as possible, I'm gonna put them near the diagonal that's closest to me. Um, you place them on the table and then move them a single move on and they're going to be in skirmish formation so I'll spread them out a little bit. Perfect. Because unless the character's going in there, there's no real reason for me to not be in skirmish, especially when these gyrocopters are buzzing about yep. and I want a 360 charge arc. So that is into what is effectively for me the magic phase. I miss it so much, Ian. <laughs> 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 The baiting of dice pools. Um, yeah, but shooting phase. Yep. Magic missiles. I'm going to magic missile from my wizard here at your cannon. So that's a... My sorcerer on horseback is going to cast blue fire at the cannon. Yep. Needing a nine plus. Needing a ten plus because Ian is a dwarf. I'm a dwarf. And are you within 18? Oh, yeah. Sorry about the spawn. I am within 18 to use my wizardly dispel if I wish. Well, I don't get it off anyway. I didn't want to use it anyway. My other sorcerer is going to cast into these gyrocopters. Cool. Needing the same. I get a nine. I needed a 10, don't I? <laughs> you do need a 10. <laughs> All dwarves are resilient. I hate dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> um, Anything else? Nothing, nothing else for me. Okay. Just combat. Now, let's start with the thunderers and then I'll cheer myself up a bit. With the Chaos Lord. Cool. So my exalted champion has got four attacks. Yeah. My lance has triggered this turn. It is. And I'm weapon skill higher than yours. Uh, yes. Yeah. My initiative is also plus three because I charged over three. So, so seven or everyone, eight? Yeah, everyone's Everything. definitely going first. And just they are. Explaining a little. Yeah. Um, so I'm hitting you on threes. I'm wounding on twos with armor bane one. 
Lovely. And so I... that's three. My AP is minus two, but no armor banes go off. No, and I have heavy armor and a shield, so I need three saves. Of six, six up. up. There's two no's. Three no's. No. Cool. My horse that she's riding on doesn't hit. And then I've got five marauders that have got a champion, so six total attacks. Yeah. What weapon skill are you? Four. Four as well. I'm imagining, but it's... Yeah. <laughs> my, my higher weapon skill of being a marauder isn't coming into it much this, no. this game. I'm strength five because I've got flails and we charged. So that's three wounds at AP minus two. Cool. So again, six up saves from my shield. So that's three dead. So now the real killers come, the Marauder <laughs> War Horses. Yep. I've got two hits. Yep. Fives to wound. Oh, oh no. two wounds. Do you have any armor penetration? No, no, they've no. just got iron shot hooves. Four ups. Oh, another <clears throat> hero of the hold. Right, so Ian has three attacks back. His weapon skill four, so will hit me on fours. Uh, yeah, four because I have a unit champion. Ah, oh, boo. So, Are yep. you sure you don't didn't have... So Ian's unit champion... Is ballistic skill four, but yeah. only one attack. So with three guys, he will yep. only have three attacks. Three attacks. Fours. Fours. Nice. Oh, they're mad. What strength are they? Uh, strength three. A single wound. A single wound. Yes. Six up save. No. That's one dead. Yeah. I have killed seven. Seven. Ian's killed one. Yep. So I win by six. You do. Because I more than double. Ian's unit strength, yep. Ian will just break instead of falling back in good order. Yeah, so now this is a, a f hold or a flee roll, rather, than a, rather yeah. than a give ground or fall back. Yes. Oh, sorry. Right. I will still give ground. So with the six difference, it's a three, and he gets right. a four. Get okay, a four. So I would fall back in good order normally, but because you double my unit strength, I flee. Yeah. And I flee. I'm going to test a restrain. Cool. And you're just off, are you? Yeah, my seven goes to six and I run off the board. I pass, so I just stand there and I can reform. Yeah. So now we move over to... The fight. Kingy King's King Grim <laughs> <laughs> versus Jebe and his boys. All right. Um, I'm going to issue a challenge with my Chaos Lord. I will to your... accept with King King Grim. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. It'll be a good fight. Is he actually a king? Yeah, he has to be a king. It says in the rules, he's a dwarf king. That's not his actual level, though. I suppose, actually, we were talking about this last night. So, you see this as each person representing, like, five. Yeah, yeah. Whereas, my six Chaos Knights are just six Chaos Knights. Yeah. So, mine are outnumbered five times more than you see here in the Theatre of the Mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we take both of our points of view and combine them, yeah, you're heavily yeah. outnumbered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I see it as an abs abs abstraction that we're, like, slightly zoomed in but seeing a massive battle, whereas you're seeing a small little border skirmish. That represents, like, a bigger battle, yeah, potentially, yeah. or just a border skirmish. Yeah. So, right, yeah, I'm going to challenge my Chaos Lord, yeah, Jerry. I'll, I'll accept. Right. So, what have you got? What nasty surprises have you got in your unit? Um, just on my Dwarf King, he has a 4 plus ward save. And a great weapon. Okay. Yeah. Right, cool. He's pretty, he's pretty restrained. So, we're fighting this comp... Let's save the challenge till last, right? Let's save the challenge yeah, sure. till last. Let's actually, let's even do it in initiative order, like the book intends. <laughs> Which would make it last. <laughs> yeah, so my Chaos Knights... So, I you are strength 4 base. Yes. So you go up to six with your lance. Yeah. And the lance is AP2. Yeah. But I've got to hit you first. Yeah, but I'm just thinking about do I use my great weapons or my shields on my long beard unit? I think I'll use my shields. Right. So you've got a heavy armor. Heavy armor shield. So, so you'll be on a six or save. Up to a six, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to direct two attacks just from a Chaos Knight in the unit into okay. your champion. Okay. So these ones. What oh. weapon skill are you? Five. Ah, oh, the same as me. <laughs> Ian saw the glimmer in my yeah, eye. Yeah. Oh, hopefully they're four. Not today. The rest of my attacks just into the unit. Are you, they all five, yeah? Everyone's five, yeah. Apart, so from, the, apart from the king. Five hits. And two to wound. Three ones. We cannot. So that's one armor bane. So Ian, you don't get a save versus nope. that, mate. And then minus two for the other one. And that was abysmal. So the six up save. Into the, the drain. The six up save. No. no. So two dead. And then I've got six chaos steeds. Wow. 
that I shall roll the bone dice for, because there's actually six of them. So I hit on <laughs> I hit on fours. Nice. The steeds are mad. They wound on fours because they're chaos steeds. Nice. So that's more wounds. <laughs> So three wounds total, and Ian is going to save at minus nothing. Okay, four rats. Two. Ah, oh, boo. Further one. Boo, boo more than the gyrocopters. <laughs> <laughs> so that's three total coming away from the front rank. Yep. What initiative, or oh, your initiative less than I'm four. I'm initiative two. Right. Two with my hand. Okay. Yep. So then next I'm going to go, oh, you do them back and then we'll do the challenge. Cool. It's not going to affect the challenge. So three off the front, one, two, three. So I have my unit champion, which is two. Mm -hmm and then two regular men. So four okay. attacks for me. Hitting you on fours. And wounding you on four, strength four, tough four. Tough four. Tough four. fours. Oh. No. Right, so Chaos Lord Jebe. Versus the Dwarf Lord unnamed. <laughs> King Grim. <laughs> <laughs> it's King Call Grim. Call it what you want. It's like, no, cue the throat singing, I'm weapon skill seven. Me what are you? Two. Oh, you. You weapon skill chaos, Lord. <laughs> He's a dwarf king, yeah. He's not an immortal champion of the gods. No, he just lives like 600 years. So I've got six attacks with my chaos, Lord. Oh, hitting me on fours. Hit three times. Yeah. Good job I got that plus one initiative this turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm strength great weapon, so seven. I'm toughness. Less than that. Five. Two wounds. Two wounds with an AP of two. Yeah. So my... Four up, uh, Gromrel armor save goes to a six up. Okay, and you get to reroll ones because Gromrel armor. Get to reroll ones. No, and then I have two ward saves. A four no, up? Four plus. No. Oh, two, two wounds. Do you know what? That was much more successful in that challenge than I thought. It was. You, so, what you might find as you're playing the old world is characters are basically harder to kill. Yeah. They, they, they're more nails in yeah. what they. Have. Yeah, so with I my feel. shield bearers, I was on six wounds. Now okay. I'm down to four. <laughs> he was saying I've got loads of wounds at wounds five. He had six. Yeah, but <laughs> I also moved three inches. Okay. <laughs> got little legs. Uh, so my four attacks back. Weapon skill seven. Two hits. Yeah. Strength seven. Uh, or strength six. Strength six. So threes <laughs> to wound? Threes come to five. Yeah, nice. Two wounds with AP. <laughs> yeah, still two though. I've then got a two up save. Oh no, I've not. I've got a three up save because my barding and full plate. Yep. Goes to a five. And then I've got a five up chaos armor. Nice. So fives. Ugh, cheated. Nice. <laughs> oh, I take two wounds. So we're equal in that challenge. But you have your horse, and I have my, I do and have I have my retainers. I hit with the horse. Uh, Don't wound until no, tough four. You're tough yeah. five. Uh, so my three retainers. Our weapons go five. How does the guy at the back fight? <laughs> Who, how do the other two fight? He's carrying a two-ton dwarf lord. <laughs> uh, and his massive shield. Yeah, it's bigger than him. Strength four, so five's the wound. One with an AP of one for Gromril weapon. So that goes down from a three to a four. Nice. Loves it. Easy. Right, so combat race time. Yes. I deny Ian's ranks because I've got the first charge rule. Yes. We've both got a banner, so they're out. Yep. I've killed three, Ian's killed none of the main unit. Yep, and we both did two in our challenge. Yes. So it is me losing by three. It is. Um, so double six here, please, Ian. Uh, no, I will. I'm not sure when I would choose to use my stubborn. So Ian is stubborn. Yes. So, so Ian has absolutely done me here. Yeah, so I've lost the combat by three. Yes. Which would put my leadership 10 Dwarf Lord down to 7. Yeah. Um, but because I use my shield, I can enact a rule that Longbeards have called Shield Wall. Which means instead of falling back in good order, I give ground. Which is just basically blunting your charge. And I also have the rule Stubborn on the Longbeard unit. So I will choose to use Stubborn as well. Which means instead of doing any sort of test, I fall back in good order. But those two rules combined, I just give ground. Look at how smug he is. Look at how smug he is, this son of a bitch. Ow. So that really hurt, and now I've been pushed back two inches. And I will follow up, because we're going into Ian's turn. <laughs> but to be honest, other than the fact... It, we're now in a different round of combat, so we've left the challenge. Yes. Um, so my Chaos Lord 
Might not get chopped up by Dwarf Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? But we will see in Ian's turn that we're going to go into now. So, Ian, Dwarf's turn two. Yeah. It feels like longer because we've got straight into it. <laughs> we did, yeah. Um, any charges? We weren't like... I was like trying to get you to charge my spawn. Are you going to do that? <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do any charges for now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to rely on the moves. Your quarrelers will come on. Yep. Oh, come on. Have you got anything to do no. in the command phase? Nothing no. in the command phase. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to bring on my quarrelers over here. So they'll start on the board edge. And then I'm just going to try and... Go on three. Because the cat was moving anyway. Yes. And um, I'm going to... Cart march. What are you looking for? I'm looking for a wheel template. Ah, right. So <laughs> the war office has provided oh, us... A super handy yeah, wheel template. With a wheel template. Yeah. There you go, Ian. Thank you. So... I conveniently just put this on the edge of the base. Yeah. And I'm going to wheel three inches, which is my entire move. Yeah, and if you want one of those, there is a link below to the war office. Um, and I think they've got them, them MDF on eBay, as well as messaging them directly on Facebook for them yeah. to do custom things. Yeah. Do you have an affiliate link? I do have an affiliate link below. Oh. That's, that was the link below. That's handy. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's my dynamic move phase. I'm also going to march forward with my iron breakers. See, very dynamic. Yeah, so I need to do a uh, march block. Ah, so you no longer as dwarves ignore being march blocked. No, they're just like everyone else, just super tough. You love it. I am fine, so I'm going to march forward six. I suppose with a leadership of ten for any character, <laughs> it doesn't really matter about uh, taking it. It isn't, it is nine. It's only the king that's ten. Oh, it's only the king. It's only the king that's ten. They're, they're now much more reasonable. <laughs> just super tough. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my entire. Oh, no, tell a lie. I've got some gyrocopting. You to keep do. forgetting about these. Yeah, no, they're just so almost like you thought I would have wiped them out in the first turn. They're just so sneaky. Where do you want to go? I'm just going to put more pain over here, and also in the process, block my marauder horse. From charging the cannons. Yeah, so I will do a. Oh, I don't need to. You don't need to. Because I'm, I'm not marching. marching. Yeah, you're doing a single move there. <laughs> That's the rules. So, so, wellity, wellity, wellity. Yeah. Into the shoe sting phase. Yes, sir. Let the shoe sting begin. Where are we starting? I think we. <laughs> We just discovered what a grape shot does. I've just discovered what You have so discovered. I, I you was already, like, you already. should probably do a grape <laughs> yeah. shot right now. Uh, so I am going to grape shot with my cannon. Yeah. Do you want to describe it or should I? Yeah, so a grape shot is a single artillery dice worth of shots. Auto hitting. Auto hitting a 12 inch range, straight for AP1. Yeah. Which is fairly good. It is fairly from good. From our, <laughs> I just realised, bank of rule books yeah, on the side. Yeah. We had a little had a little search. Uh, so, this grape shot into your Chaos Warrior Chosen. I guess I'll just have to take it. Cool. Artillery dice! Two. I will greedily use my engineer to re-roll. <laughs> oh! Dice. This, is, this is not the call, by the way. Oh, I doubled it. But so like no a... more re-rolls from that engineer this turn, right? No, no more. Oh, That's so the, <laughs> the organ gun so wants to explode now. Yeah, four shots, auto-hitting. Strength four, top four. Yeah, top four. That's two. Three, three wounds with AP one. So I've got three up normal, because I've got chaos, I've got heavier. Let me start that sentence again. I've got full plate, because full plate is now full plate, not yep. chaos armor being four up. So I've got full plate, a shield, so that's a three up. AP minus one goes to fours. Yep. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Now the delicious organ gun. <laughs> Grape shots are so good. <laughs> <laughs> They're really quite good. Uh, an organ gun is going to shoot into your Chaos Warrior Chosen again. Yeah, so it's two artillery dice. They don't need to be rolled separate. No, but most of us only have one dice. So it's six. a misfire, minus one to hit. Yes. So, so it's six shots with minus one. So that's hitting on fives. Did you BS... Four up, oh, three. not BS. BS3, so hit on BS3 fours. BS3 hitting on fours. Five yeah. of the misfire. A oh, hit. Whoops, a daisy. And a wound with AP one. one. Yeah, so fours again. Love it. Thank oh. you, Hobby Butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other cannon over here yeah. will shoot into your Chaos Spawn. Are you going to grape shot? I'm going to use a grape shot. Okay. Yeah. So oh. artillery dice with Actually, the bottom. Actually, you're tough hits. as five, right? 
Fluffy is five. It might not be the best display of a grape shot. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do a grape shot. It'll be fine. Eight oh, hits? That's many more than four. That's a lot. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, strength four, toughness five. Yeah. So three potential wounds. Three at minus one. Minus one. So I got sixes. Nice. No, I die. Nice. Uh, that's the spawn collapsing. Uh, <laughs> it's like a, a dinosaur. It sounded quite <laughs> a lot like a cow for a horse. <laughs> well, that's it. He's, he's, he's pretty bovine with right. that spawn. He's, he's the Sentai horse cow. Ah. That sounds like bullocks to me. <laughs> uh, do you need to do some panic checks for a destroyed unit? I really do. Yeah. Um, my, my dogs can go first. Okay, cool. They've got the leadership bubble from the exalted champion, so that gives a leadership bubble of eight for anyone within eight. Nice. Right. Eight. They love it. Cool. My... What, what are you wizard? To? Wizard. And whatever wizard. you want. Wizard? Yeah, the wizard. Cool. Love it. Yep. The... And my fast cap unit. Yeah. Love it. And you're for sucking? They are immune to psychology. Then they don't even care. Yeah. Almost like people, like complete psychos ravaged by mutation, <laughs> wouldn't care that much. About another thing ravaged by mutation. Okay. Yeah, exactly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ian's now counting his quarrelers. Yeah. He's so... in three ranks, so only gets to fight with the front rank. I do. But you've not got volley fire, right? No. My front rank, I put the rune smith in there. Um, so I get six shots. I'm going to shoot into your marauder cavalry. Horseman? Marauder horseman? Horseman. Which are cavalry? Well, they are cavalry, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I've moved with a ponderous weapon. So ponderous is an additional minus one to move and shoot. So they are BS3, now hitting on sixes. Okay. Like that one? One. And then strength four into your toughness. Three. Human, so three. With no AP. And I got a six up save. Bam. Bam. Can you give us one of them? Okay. Yes. Thank you. And that is my flamer. Flamer time. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ian, we've done one flamer template and just double it because they're, yeah. next, they're next to it. So, he's six partials and six full hits. Six partials? Yeah. So, he gets three statistical. Yeah, so nine hits overall. Strength three, tough four. So two saves at minus one for you. So minus one gives me a four up. And Chaos Armor six up. One dies. Nice. Chaos one. Yeah, so Ian oh. in his shooting, and this sounds like a little bit bragging, but Ian has killed one spawn and one dude, which is not what I expected at yeah. all. I thought Ian was actually gonna blow me away a bit in this phase. Me I think too. You've just not, <laughs> I think you've just not rolled super well. Not the best, not the best. Yeah, so let's hope that continues, or at least <laughs> I do, into the combat of the turn, okay. which is ongoing combat. Yeah. And... I am initiative too. I'm initiative. Or great weapon. More than that. You are more than that. So, my knights in the combat will strike first. We're going to continue in the challenge. No one's going to try and intercede. No. Um, my knights, there's six of them, so 13 attacks. Lovely. You're going to issue any to my champion? I'm going to issue two again to okay. your champion cool. because I just don't like seeing him. It's nothing to do with him having more attacks. He's, so you got 11? That. Yeah, so I've got cool. 11 into the unit in general. Fours. Fours. This is slightly better. Yeah. So that's a total of seven out of the 11. Mm -hmm. And then I'm strength four, toughness four. Indeed. That is worth <laughs> six fails out of the seven. What are you doing, Max? Well, <laughs> uh, so I have my four up save now to a five. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then two into the unit champion. One hit. Yeah. Nothing. Okie dokie. Chaos Steeds. Yeah. Because you're, you're initiative two, aren't you? I'm initiative two. So they're initiative three and we'll go first. Um, Forced to hit, gets four hits. They strength four. <laughs> three <laughs> wounds. So three wounds from them. Three four ups. Kills two. Better, <laughs> better than a hundred year old Chaos Warrior. An immortal Chaos Warrior blessed by the gods. <laughs> That's fucking mental. Cool. So Ian gets... I get four back. For Champion gets two. And then two remaining guys. Yes. Yeah. A hit. <laughs> and hit. Uh, no wound. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then our challenge. Can I just say we are useless? Yeah, not very good at this whole hit and thing, are we? <laughs> Yeah, so I go first. Oh, yeah. no, we go simultaneously. Yeah. You go well, first. You get, your horse. you get your horse first. He's oh, smart. I do. Than yes, I do go first. I hit. What a guy. He needs a five, five to wound because yeah. I'm strength four. No. Okay. Are your retainers got great weapon? No, they have hand weapons. Well remembered. Two hits. Strength four, so fives because you're super tough. No. No. Love now, it. down to the great weapons. Yep. Ian, it's your turn. You go okay. first. Uh, so fours. And then twos, Three. threes, because you're strength top, six, you're aren't you? Five. I keep thinking you're t your strength five base as well. So that's two wounds. Yeah. Do great weapons have armor bane? So the six from Ian just completely ignores my armor. The four gives me a six up save. Oh no! No, you it doesn't because I've got, it, right? I've got a bard as well. Cool. So you have a six up armor and a five up, and then a five up. Six up. Special. Five up. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And then, then a... five smack chaos armor. Yeah. Right. So I take another wound. Cool. And I'm down to two. Nice. I feel like there's a, a dwarf lord going to chop my head off next. <laughs> next, I get my six attacks back, hitting yeah. off fours. And then twos to wound. <laughs> two wounds. Go on. Two fails, please, Ian. Uh, my four uh, minus is now two. A six up. Ah, oh, boo! And then a four up ward save. No, take a wound. So, Ian takes another wound. Ian's gonna go through combat res. Yeah, so Max did one wound to my Dwarf King and killed three Longbeards. In return, I killed one, I put one wound on his Lord. And I also have a rank. We both have banners. Oh, because I've chopped you down a rank now, haven't I? Yeah, yeah, I've lost that. Because he's rank. no longer a first charge. So. Yeah, so I retain the one rank but not the other. And then we both have banners and close order. So yeah. I lose by two. Okay, and no I shield. I can't wall. do shield or stubborn shenanigans. Uh, Double so sixes time, here, please, Ian. No, thank you. Leadership 10. Uh, goes you down give to an ground. Egg, but I just give ground. <laughs> so I move back two. And then it's Max's turn next, so he can choose. But I think we've seen a nice... Do you know, demonstration, I'm not going to pursue in fact. No, because it's your turn. Because <laughs> it's my turn and I want my charge bonuses yeah. again. Um, so turn three is going to be a turn of a lot of charges. All the melee. Yeah. Yeah. My sorcerer is going to cast her demonic vigor. Vigor? <gasps> Does, Does it, it only against your targeted units that yeah, I get yeah. minus? But right. I can still try my wizard. So on dispel. a 10, I pass. Okay, and my wizardly dispel, I don't dispel. Why do you only get plus one? Yeah, he's only a level one wizard. Right, okay. Yeah. So she gets wizard. an extra attack, strength, and armor piercing. Delicious. Mm. So running down, the obvious one is my knights are going to go into the long beards. I will hold. And Ian is a full two inches away, so I'll get my plus two initiative on the charge. So, yeah, that'll be good. Uh, my warriors are actually just going to go into the cannon, and that's so I can wheel to a line and then hopefully overrun into the side of the long beards and fight a second combat as part of the pursuit into new and uh, pursuit into ongoing combat rule. Yep. My Forsaken are going to go into the Iron Breakers. Oh. They're going to be joined by my Marauder Horse and Exalted Champion. Yep. I will be holding. My Sorcerer, along with the dogs, are going to go into the cannon with the Sorcerer going in first. Yep. So they can definitely, she can be alive. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's holding as well. Yes. Unless you want to lose your cannon. Unless I can do... Standard shoot grape shot. No, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice, but no. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's, that's charge. Oh, and my... <laughs> These guys are going to go into the gyrocopters. Yes, yeah, they will also hold. Right. So they're just going to align. Oh, this is mine. Yeah, that's your wound marker. Oh. Um, the Chaos Warriors are going to... Roll their 2d6 discarding and make it in because discarding a four, I've still got four inch move. Yeah. Ooh, is that how you rank up? Have you yeah, worked so, it out? <laughs> so you have three crewmen on 25 mil bases. Yeah. You have a cannon on a 50 by 50. Yeah. So I've decided to put it on a 75 by 50. So when you turn it to the side, it's, you... that's ranked up. So right. they are 75 mil. 
the non-charging into the wood stuff, the yep. Forsaken are going to charge the you dudes, <laughs> you breakers, not the dwarfs. Yep. I get in with a six. Yep. Next, I'm going to do my Marauder Horse into the side of the Iron Breakers, because with them, I, I, do you know what? I've got a slight chance of actually yep. <laughs> maybe doing something to them. For sure. I'm going to discard the one from the black dice, which gives me eight plus a seven, so cool. 15, totally in. Cool. And that will actually sadly leave my Exalted Champion striking with one attack. Because... Yeah, the you, 60 by 30. You should be slightly wider. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, next, the exalted sorcerer into the cannon. A four, a one, and a seven. So that's 12. Is that in? Yeah. Bye. And then the dogs. So the dogs with the swift stride get a four. So a seven plus a seven, 14. Cool. And in. Um, Big turn of combat, eh? Oh, yeah. So elsewhere on the table, we're going to get my Marauder Horse that the skirmish in. Go 12. And stay out. <laughs> stay, I'm going to stay out of grape shot range of that cannon. I mean, the cannon's... Oh, no, he's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's it's an actually, organ gun, so... Yeah. If you want to stay out, it's 15 for my half range, but... No, because then I can't charge you as easily. <laughs> You'd rather charge me. Yeah. Yeah. Funny that. So they get to there. My character is just going to move closer to the unit and out of the pursuit distance of the Iron Breakers. <laughs> Wise, yeah. And my dogs over here are just going to set up for, I don't know, anything. So they're going to get there. Um... And that's the movement cool. into shooting. Yeah, the, your magic face. Yeah. I'm going to cast magic missile on, on the, the organ gun. The organ gun. Cool. It doesn't go off. And do you know what? I forgot him. <laughs> you know so into the combat phase, yeah. um, let's start with the Chosen Chaos Warriors into the cannon. Okay. So on your 75 mil of width, yep. I've got four in base contact because yes. I'll have a corner to corner on one side, two 60s, and the 60 on the other. Yep. And then everyone else will get one attack. So that's seven in the front rank. So three at one attack, three at two attacks, and one at three attack. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you said. <laughs> Whatever you say. So I've got 12 total attacks and weapon skill five because I'm... Chaos. Yep, and weapon skill four because I'm double. So threes. So these guys can hit. These like, guys can hit. These are actually. I think that's the. Uh... It's easy to hit when you're not on a horse. <laughs> well, that, that's it. Fours <laughs> uh, to wound because yep. I imagine your toughness four. I am. And you have at least AP one. I've got AP one for insulted weapons. And yes. I have light armor. So that's five dead. And my overrun. Is seven. Nice. Which puts me, I imagine, into the lot beside the Longbeards. Yeah. Which is pretty massive, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Next, let's do the, the other cannon fight. Cool. So, my sorcerer. Yes. And we were just talking about this a second ago, is pretty nails because they're a chaos champion, essentially. Yeah. They're like a mid level hero for everyone else. Yeah. So, I've got two attacks and I've got demonic vigor for plus one attack. So that's three total attacks. Yep. Weapon skill five. Lovely. Three hits. Strength five is oh. three wounds at oh, AP no. minus one. Oh, AP minus two, because I've got ensorcelled weapons. Lovely. Um, and I will <laughs> like test, to test restrain. to restrain. Dogs? Dogs, eight. Cool. Character, loves it. We will do that. And I'll after. reform yeah. at the end. Cool. Um, let's go gyrocopters, Marauder Horse. Sweet. So I've got five total attacks. Hitting on fours. And then wounding on fours. Yep. Because I've got flails. Ooh. Three. At minus. They're mad this turn. Minus <laughs> two for flails. Lovely. Six ups. Three. So that's one of the gyrocopters yeah. dead. I'll just kill the full wound. And then four war horses. 
hit three times. Come on, sixes for the war horses. No. no. My two attacks back on fours and on threes. Yeah, a wound to you. Right, a six up save. No, I die. So that, what was that, three wounds versus one? Yep, so I lose by two. Yeah, but well, your king's about, so you lead ship eight. Oh, love For the modified. He is <laughs> giving ground. And I will, <laughs> I will go with you. Cool. Because I don't want you to fly about flaming stuff again. <laughs> so for Mice Forsaken, I have to randomize what their rampant mutation is. I get poisoned attacks. That's, that's all right. I also have, out of my eight, six will be in combat, and then two will only get one on their random attacks anyway. Okay. So I've got to randomise six people's amount of D3's attacks. Nice. So I've got oh. a one and a one. They can just go in. Yep. I've got a two, and then I've got three threes. So that's the exact amount of dice I actually had <laughs> by my side. <laughs> Excellent. I'm weapon skill four. Your weapon skill four. Five. You're five. I have an iron break. It's still fours. They break iron. Uh, and I'm poisoned, so sixes will automatically wound. How many did you roll, Max? Only one. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so I can get a lot more hits in this turn, but yeah. only one wound. I've uh, got strength four, your toughness four. Yes. That's Look at all them sixes <laughs> this time. Though I can't, I'm not going to complain about that, because that was still seven so wounds, which is... Eight total. Fairly good. Lovely. Yes. And that's AP minus one, because I've got ensorcelled weapons. Cool. And because I'm Zinch, oh, I don't get flaming attacks for this, so you don't get to re-roll. Or I would, you don't I get would a six-up ward against ward. this. Yeah. Uh, so I have eight saves, all at AP one. Yes. So I'm full plate with a shield. So three up goes to four. And I fail three. But re-roll that one. Because you've got Gromril armor. I love oh, I don't in the thing. No. So three total. Yeah. Right. Next, we're going to go for the Marauder Horse. I've got three Marauder Horse in, that's four attacks with the champion. Two hits, strength five, gives me one wound at minus two. Nice. Uh, so three up goes to five up. Yeah. He's okay. I've got a Lance on my Exalted Champion, who's only got one attack. Yep. And I miss. Cool. I've got a Chaos Steed, that misses. <laughs> and then I've got three War Horses. That's five ones in a row. That's quite impressive. Right. So that's three total wounds done to the Iron Breakers. And yep. this might not be enough. So, yeah, so you side, go now. Sideways, I'm going to use three guys going sideways. Yes. Because uh, the three I took would be over here. Then going forwards into you, I will have one and champion and then a rune smith. Okay, so Runesmith is just two attacks and basically like an Iron Breaker, is it, for the purposes of this? Uh, he has a great weapon, so he's actually going last. Oh, right, okay. But initiative yeah. 2 is almost the same as Initiative 1. Uh, so the attack's going sideways. A weapon's going 5 into your Marauder, so 3s. Yes. Into the Forsaken, come on. No, into your Marauders. Sorry. Oh, the, the horse, sorry, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah. and then a Strength Force have 3. No. Not today. Excellent. <laughs> Bye. Three Iron Breakers going forward, so the champion and one guy into your Forsaken. Yes. Your weapon skill. Iron weapon skill four. Okay, so three is to hit as well. Okay, this is a, <laughs> we, are okay. Both, we are both doing terribly at this. And so one wound, you're tough four? I'm tough four. Yeah, one wound with an AP of one. So I've got a six up, and then I've got a five up Chaos Armor. Cool. Loves nice. it. Then my Rune Smith. Yeah. Uh, weapon skill at least five. Hits with one, with this great weapon. <laughs> 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 yeah. Right. If we'd have rolled really well, maybe this could have been over in the first or second turn. Yeah, it would have been different. Uh, right. So, combat res. Yes. You have done three wounds to me. Yeah. Do your marauder don't have a banner, right? No, no so one you, has a banner here. You've done three wounds to me and you have a flank charge? Does that give you an additional I one? I do. I get one for the flank charge and break yeah. your ranks. Yes. So, I have a banner. Yeah. So, I lose by three. Okay. Yeah, and I do you have close order? I do have close order. I do not. Oh, so I lose by two. Yes, unless like somehow my Chaos Champion transfers it to... <laughs> no, doesn't. So at, your leadership. At, as we've learnt from previous, I am going to use Stubborn Shield War. So right, I'm going into your turn. 
So you, you, what? the stubborn is the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going into your turn, so I'm going to just push up against you. Cool. Two inches is what so, I was saying. Yeah. So I'm going to slide back diagonally away. Yeah, and I just stay in contact. I'm just going to come with me. So into the Yebe and yeah. King Grim combat. Yeah, so you got to pursue into the side of me, which means that you're yes. chosen to get to fight again. I do. Um, and that's going to be a big for moi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to get four that are in base contact on the side. Yep. So they get two attacks each, plus the, the one for the champion, essentially. Yep. And then I'm going to get three additional for the warriors that aren't in base contact. Yeah, in the fighting rank, but not in base. Yes, so your weapon skill five, I'm weapon skill five, hitting you on fours. These warriors are fucking murderers. It should have, should have hit them. Three, six, they? eight. <laughs> nice. And then strength four. They can't wound that well though. Three cool. at minus one. Three at minus one. Uh, so my four up goes to a five. Okay, I pass two. Cool. Lovely. That's one. Yeah. Next. Oh, I issue a challenge with Jebe if you if you want. Oh, you, you want to do this? You recharged, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I've. Yeah, I'll fight you with my king. You'll cool. be fine. Let's do that. So my knights, they six of them, each with two attacks. So that's twelve and thirteen, including the unit champion. Lovely. Ten on fours. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> It's harder from horseback, Max. You should try. It is. It's, I, I mean, I've never hit anything with a lance. Two is to wound, because I'm toughness. Sorry, I'm strength. Silly. So five, six yeah, up those. Because I've not got any armor bane off that. No. Is that five dead? Yeah. Next, the horses. There's six of them. <laughs> three hits. So more, I think, more than the, the normal guys. But three ones for the wound. <laughs> The triple one is happening a few times in this Yeah, game. it's not being the best. So, have you got any to strike back in the front rank? Yeah, so I would Just have the had, champion at least? Yeah, I would have one in the side. Yeah. And then in the front I lost uh, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I just had the champion. Cool. So one going sideways into your chosen warriors. Hits and wounds with AP1. So it's, they've got a three up save normally, goes to a four. Cool. Perfect. Five. And then I have my champion going into your Chaos Knights. Double hit, nice. And fours. Oh, two wounds with AP1. Ah, so my two up goes to a three up. Oh, oh, a knight takes it. Nice. He's got a five up Chaos Armor though. Cool. Dies. He dies. I if, like it. If he dies, he dies. Um, Jebe into the... the What's he called? A dwarf king. My initiative two retainers. Oh, oh and your horse. I'm initiative four because I can't. Oh, you, I, d you are. I'm initiative, initiative one. Three. I'm initiative three because I only okay, went two cool. inch. Yeah. So I get three hits. <laughs> How many wounds have you got left, Ian? Three. Three wounds. Yeah. But minus two. Uh, so six up with my Gromer Lama. And I get to reroll the one. Yeah. Because of ah, he's still got one wound. Then I've oh, got... it's only six ups, is it? No, no, the, the ones were for rerolling my arms. Yeah, yeah, but it's a six up. Arms yeah, it was a six up, and then my three ward saves. Oh, it it's two of them. It takes a single wound. The castide doesn't hit. So my retainers hit your lord once, and don't wound him because you're super tough. And my dwarf king hits you once. Whoops, Daisy. Wounds you once with AP two. No, because you needed a three. Because you're you're so tough five. five. That was the mistake I made every yes. other round of combat. Yeah. So for the combat res, yep. Ian killed one. However, yep. I did a wound to the dwarf king. So how many warriors did I kill? You killed six longbeards. Yeah. And six. you have a flank charge. And we both have close order, so that cancels both yep. our banners. So, so my leadership 10 king is now leadership three. And I'll pursue with everyone, right? Well, I'm <laughs> gonna, I might only give ground. Uh, so I don't give ground, but I fall back in good. Ah, reroll that too. It's out of the box. Oh, fair enough. Good and bad. Oh, you son oh. of a... Oh, <laughs> yeah. no. Uh, Do you so, know what? <laughs> 
Cool, so I flee flee, and I will run. Uh, 10 goes to a nine. <laughs> My knights don't catch on an eight. Silly knights. <laughs> well, they're tired from their night three rounds. That's true, yeah. And uh, the Chaos Warriors do catch. Oof. Destruction. So into Dorf's turn three. So charges for me? Yeah. None. None? <laughs> Are you not going to charge the knights in the flank with your engineer? No. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. No, not that either. Uh, my movement phase will yes. just... All I'm looking for here is line of sight for shooting. So I will be... I think I'll just pivot on the spot. Ah, so is that... So you can basically just get charged in the front rather than the side? Yeah, and also I'm going to be moving anyway. Um, like that is my move so that the crossbows are going to be inaccurate either way. So just while we're going through this, do you want to double check how far I am away from you? Because you won't get to stand and shoot if I'm within seven. You are more than seven. Okay, cool. Because I was just going to say, maybe suggest like wheeling back. backwards. Right, okay. Yeah, fair point. To get that if you, but since you're not, you're not. Nope. So That's them. Combat, not going to move because it's move or fire. The engineer. Runs into the woods. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he's going to do. Yeah, he will just, he'll walk into the woods. It, it might be start, time to start cheesing it. Yeah, he's just going to... Uh, oh, Ian, I'm going to be a massive twat now. Yeah, go two inches. Give me your banner. Give oh, me your lovely. banner. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, they caught you, didn't they, as well? They did. They were the, they were the ones... Okay, um, shoot any stuff. More for any more. No, nah, shoot stuff. Right, where are you starting? I will do my seven quarrelers into your move six. I will shoot all of it into your Character. lone wizard. Okay. And I'll just be hitting on. Yeah, because actually I think I've moved them slightly wrong. I should be closer to you than the dogs based on the combat. Well, it would be equal distance, right? Yeah, so, but I sort of, I sort of spun them recklessly. Cool. Uh, so it will be sevens to hit you, which is sixes and sixes. Oh, because you've moved, haven't you? Because I've moved and they're ponderous. Okay. <laughs> one, we got one chance. <laughs> that was, was one. That five sixes, though? No, no, it was one. <laughs> so five, five ones. ones yeah. yeah, five ones. So no hit, but that's okay. Then we do the organ gun. And I'm going to shoot everything into your marauders in front of me, because why not? Yes. Bam. Oh, 14. What, is that four? Lovely. So I will do seven and seven. Uh, so you're within half range, but you're a skirmisher, so I'm hitting you with fives. Okay. So the first load, I get two, and then the second... Oh, that's way better. Two, three, four, five total. Right, I'm toughness three, so you need twos. And that's five dead. Five men. Luckily, it's not a unit annihilated. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose the, what is it, the champions is the one that sticks around? Of course. Um, and luckily, I'm within six inches. I'm within eight of my sorcerer. So the leadership check, I'm fine. Okie dokie. <laughs> uh, then we do my... Well, my engineer has a handgun. Okay. Uh, they have ballistic skill four. Minus two for moving. Yeah, I believe, but ballistic skill four. Surely you're five. Yeah, you would hope, but he is ballistic skill five. So he's hitting you on twos, but he's moving with a ponderous weapon. So it goes up to twos, threes, fours. Okay. Into your knights, because why not? Okay. <laughs> At Ian. least he can't miss one. Ian. <laughs> Uh, right, swiftly right. we're going into the combat phase. Yeah. Um, do you want to start with the gyrocopter one? Whichever you want. Yeah, yeah okay, the gyrocopter. That, that one, you picked. Yep. I'm initiative two. I'm initiative three. Nice. So my, th four mar my three marauders with four attacks for the champion get yep. two hits. I'm strength three because I've not got flails, but that's one <gasps> wound. With my four up save. Oh no. My helicopter. And my three horses. No. Okie dokie. So my gyrocopter back on fours. Oh dear. So Ian has lost by one. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. I more than double you. 
but you're fine anyway. I am okay. <laughs> so I give ground. And I'm not going to follow up cool. because I want my flails again. Cool. You, then into the one. forsaken combat. Oh dear! Oh dear! Right. So, so a tea, so a tea, so a tea. Indeed. Let's do. I'm initiative two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, I'll all be ahead of you. My exalted champion will go first. Yep. Because she used a lance last time. <laughs> misses. Cool. <laughs> Her steed <laughs> misses. Right. <laughs> I've got three marauder horsemen. So that's four attacks with just hand weapons. Three hits. <laughs> uh, I've got two wounds. Two wounds. Strength yeah. three. Yes. Cool. Three up saves. Here. And a six up ward save. No. So one bites. And then I've got three war horses. This ever stops spinning. What will it be? Two hits. Five. Oh, two, oh my goodness. Two from goodness. the war horses. Threes. And a six up award. Terrible horses at doom. <laughs> so apparently I should stop using flails because yeah, just clearly they're the worst weapon. Things with four legs are great. Yeah, the Forsaken, two will only get one attack from their random, yep. but I need to randomise what thing they get. Oh, and T3. So my special mutation, five, I get killing blow. Cool. And I that's... get six amounts of random attacks. Oh dear. So that's two for the three. I've got two fours that are two. And three lots of three. Two. And two more, please. That is a lot of a attacks. Lot. With Killing Blow, that's a lot. I hit on fours. Do you want me to grab? Yeah, please. Take out all the rubbish ones. So that's eight total hits. Sixes will allow no saves. So that's one no save. Cool. And you're straying? Strength. Four, so okay. two with ensorcelled weapons. Sweet. So that's magic attacks. Yeah, so two, four ups, one more dice. So two from them? Yes. For the killing blow and one failed. Save. Yeah. Cool. And then it's Ian attacks back. Yeah, so I have. Is the one in the side going into the Marauder Horse again? Yeah, I think so. So I've got one in the side going sideways, because I need to try and break your rank, and then everyone else will go forward. So it was two and two I lost. Uh, so. Four regular attacks going into your Forsaken. Is that with the champion included? Or? Yeah, so champion, and then I've got. Cool. Yeah, I was just, just, just I was two. just checking you didn't cool. have five attacks, not four. No. Uh, your weapon skill. Four. So threes and fours. One. Yeah, because I'm talking four. Yeah, one with AP one. I fail, and then chaos armor five up. Love Jesus. It. And then the one attack sideways into your knights uh, is a hit, so I'm weapons kill five. Yeah. And a wound with AP one. Chop. So, yeah, just one dead there, please. Cool. But now... And they step up. Yeah, and when we all step up... Now the boss is... Uh, I'll be in. It's fighting better. Then I also have my runesmith going into your Forsaken. And that's a great weapon, isn't it? It is a great weapon. If it hits. Yeah, please see uh, that. Threes. And twos, twos, yeah. So that's AP one, two. AP minus two gives me no save, but I've got five up chaos armor. Fine. No. Finally. So that's two kills to four kills. Yes. Ian has close order, which I don't have, so I'm winning by one. I have a banner. I do not. And I have a f you have a flank charge. Yes. So you win by one. Yep. Because I don't get my ranks because you're still unit strength. Five or more. Yeah. Uh, so my leadership nine goes to leadership eight. I give ground. Okay. Um, and I'm not going to follow up because Position. I want to charge. Perfect. So at the start of Chaos turn four, my Marauder Horse, both units are going to charge in. Oh no, the single dude is going to charge into the Argon Gun. Cool. The three are going to charge into the gyro. Cool. My dogs first are going to charge into the quarrelers, followed by my sorcerer, who's first in the command phase. Gonna, and I'm going to remember my command phase things this turn. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than Ian nicely allowing me to edit them back into the start <laughs> of the turn. My sorcerer... But Eye of the Gods comes first. Eye of the Gods first, yeah. then. Three. Or something different. 
I know, not, not a two again. I think this is a fairly good one that I don't need this turn. Oh, it's at the end of the army list, it's at the end. So, Ian, do you want to guess? Are you guessing weapon skill again? Definitely, weapon skill. It is plus one to my toughness <laughs> until the start of next turn. Okay. I'm very glad I got that now. Yeah, that's really handy. Yes. Uh, next, my enchantment. Yep. Oh, enhancement, sorry. Figure. No. Go. <laughs> yeah, we're learning the they've, wizards. wizards they've been the useless. Best. Yeah. And not even because of dwarfs. You've not even done anything dwarfy to them. It's done once. They've just not gone yeah. off that often. Yeah. Maybe a level four. We'll try yeah. that next time. Well, I think utilising... Let's talk about this again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, yeah, the dogs are going to go in first, followed by my wizard. Cool. Marauders and Forsaken into your Iron Breakers. Sweet. Single Marauder. Yep. And three Marauders. Cool. Hold, hold, hold. Standard shoot. Not flee. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, go on. Cool. So you've got so six, six into the dogs. Crossbows into your dogs. Uh, I Two will hits. be hitting on fours because dwarves don't suffer the standard shoot penalty. Yeah, they have dwarf craft. Oh, really? Yeah, it's lovely. Uh, single dog. So one dies. One dies. And will you just put that by the side of your quarrelers so we know they've got that for combat rares? They do. Uh, and then your charge roll. Yeah, charge for the dogs. Plenty. They're, yeah, seven plus the seven, 14. Charge for my sorceress. Uh, I've eight, got seven, nine, seven. ten, thirteen. Yeah, yeah, loads, well loads and loads. Unfailable charge. Unfailable yeah. charge. Um, oh. My marauder here is going to enter the difficult terrain, so I will discard the highest. So that's a seven plus the eight. Fifteen is in. Yep. And unfailable charge. Yeah. And into the remaining moves. Cool. So what I'm going to do with. My sorceress here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to, because I don't think there's much I can do with this sorceress, she's going to run into the centre of the woods <laughs> so she can't be seen Perfect. this turn by anything when that combat inevitably goes badly. Next, my knights. They're going to drill into a line Facing that way. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm then going to immediately start wheeling. They would face that way. So they're going to drill to there. Where's the combat gauge? Oh, yeah. Turning gauge. I'm going to go six of my 21. 21 inch move. It's so fast. 10 to definitely give me enough move to just wheel round. Cool. Um. My warriors are gonna, are gonna just oh. reform face the other way. <laughs> they're gonna no, they're gonna turn on the spot. Okay. Because that only costs quarter of my move. Okay. That then means I can move three inches this way and just steady up. Cool. My dogs are gonna go twelve. I don't even know why I'm bothering with these dogs now. <laughs> <laughs> um, magic phase and shooting, like in the shooting, yep. there is none because I'm out of sight. Yep. So into combat phase, let's start with the gyrocopter combat. Cool. I've got three marauders, one of which is a champion, so four attacks. One hit. Fours. No. And three horses. One hit. Fives. No. You uh, got my two attacks back, a hit, a wound. Okay. Not saved. So my leadership at minus one. Lovely. <laughs> you. I think I love that. Fall back in good order, I think, yeah. Yeah. So I think I've failed. I'm leadership seven because the horse master is plus one leadership. Perfect. So that means I've failed my. Oh no, I'm not. I've not failed anything. I no, just you give, give ground. ground. Yeah. Yeah, I don't fall oh. back in good order. Oh, I, I won't pursue. Because we're going into Ian's turn. Yeah. My single horse into the organ gun. Oh, he's a champion because the champion's always the one that's left. Nice. Are you weapon skill three? I'm weapon skill four. 
And all dwarves weapon skill four. <laughs> yeah, literally. So that's one. Or better. One wound at AP minus two. Cool. Kill a dwarf. So then I have two dwarf back. Yeah. We'll put a wound on them. Oh, with the horsey. Oh yeah. Hits. Yes. Yeah, it's one wound <laughs> with a light armor save. Yeah, light armor. No. So one dwarf back. Hits. <laughs> and doesn't wound. So I lose by two. And I'll find out my... Let's roll it. I imagine you're leadership nine, right? Probably. Probably. You leadership um, yeah, that, I'm at least. He's so leadership just, dwarf. I just give ground. Yes. And he's going to stay there. <laughs> I'm going to follow... Uh, can you shoot? But now that you're reducing in Yeah, when members, you fall back in good order. Yeah, so I can now shoot with a minus one to hit. And fall back in good order is a flee and an immediate rally. So you Yeah, yeah so it, it's more just like... Oh, do you not leave the gun behind? No, I've, I gave ground because I passed my unmodified. So the entire unit yeah, rather so than just, breaking gun. Yeah. Right, cool. So it's actually you need to give ground rather than fall back in good order for, an, yeah. for a war machine, essentially. Yeah. I'm going to follow up there because I don't want you to shoot that organ gun. That seems reasonable. Next, let's do the dogs combat. Cool. Now, interchange this edition. Standard shoot adds to combat race. Yeah. So Ian starts out with one and three ranks. Two, two ranks and a banner. Yes. <laughs> Already. <laughs> so these dogs need to do very well. Yeah, so four dogs hit twice. Strength three. Two wins! Oh, nice. Yes! Uh, heavy armor shield. <laughs> Great. Oh, brilliant. So let's just count down the combat race for him. Oh, okay, cool. From there. Perfect. My sorcerer gets two attacks. Yep. Weapon skill, I think, five. Nah, uh, you're gonna be four. You're a wizard. Oh, I am. It's a sorcerer lord, is five, though. That is where I was remembering it from. Strength four, no. Okay. And then the horse. <laughs> it's <laughs> wounds. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's uh, okay. It's okay. So I've lost two. So back, I've got one, two, Three, four. One of those is a champion. So that's five total attacks into the dogs. Hits three times. And strength three, so fours, three wounds. Three just dead. Oh, so. you have no say? <laughs> no. Cool. And then I also have my rune smith, who hits twice and kills one. So four, yeah, so four, four dogs. Dead. Cool. All right. Any into the champion? No, none. None at all. So right, dogs. combat res then. Perfecto. I have got two complete ranks. Okay. Which gives, which ignores the two that you killed. Yeah. We'll do it that way. Uh, then a banner. And yeah. And I'm. You, do you know what? Your unit strength is it, twice mine. Yes. So. So you, if I fail my, basically, if I fail my modified. Yeah. I'm gonna run rather than give ground. Yeah. So you'll be leadership probably. Two. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, cool. So, so she I failed that. Please. And I'm going to use my swift stride. Nice. And I get away more than you can catch. <laughs> you get really, really far. And I chase down six. Because dwarves are minus one. So, into the Ironbreaker combat. We've got the Forsaken that have to randomize their rule. I get the other one, so I've had all three in this game. <laughs> cool. But in, in like a good way. Yeah. So, what says rending? Armor piercing minus two. Oh, lovely. Now, my ensorcelled weapons have a minus one already. Do these Does become magical stack? attacks? So, looking at the rules, it says it, they, the characteristic becomes two, not increases by two. Okay. So, they're at minus two. I've now got all but one in base contact. Yep. Um, so, that's seven amount of random attacks. So I think they'd all be in base, wouldn't they? Oh, and even on 30s. Right? Yeah, even on 30s. So, just everyone. Uh, yeah, so, so seven. Sorry, not eight. That was very good. That's quite good. Yep. Nice <laughs> two. Oh, perfect dice. There you go. That's everyone. So I've got a total of four, eight, ten, fifteen attacks. Quite good. Mental. I need <laughs> I need to get a proper ranked up unit of these. They're quite Hitting good. on fours. Oh dear. Yeah, lovely. And then wounding on fours comes strength four. Cool. 
Oh, there we <laughs> neither go. Of us, neither of us can wound cool. ever. So that's that two was, wounds at minus two. Uh, so threes go to fives. <laughs> Cheers for coming. Only two. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was uh, both peaks of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll start. Whoa. At least it started high. Yeah. My exalted champion has got four attacks. Hits three times. <laughs> I've got an armor bane of minus three. With your lance? Yeah, and, and one minus at minus two. Cool, so the minus two saved, and then the minus three is a six. No. And um, what, is that, that's not magical? It is magical, cool. because I've got insulted weapons and an exalted champion. So the only hand weapon. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. So no. Two dead. My chaos one steed dead. Dead. doesn't hit. <laughs> Why did I roll another dice? <laughs> and then two, <laughs> two little Two horses. Yeah. One hit, nothing. And two marauders, one of which is a champion. One hit. Oh, wound at minus two. Uh, so five up. Oh, I reroll ones. No, and then six up ward. Ugh. Another. So I lost two from the side. So that's no attacks back sideways. And I yep. lost two more from the front. Right. So there's five total striking back, including the champion yeah. and the great weapon on the runesmith. Not including the great weapon. So I got one, two, three, four, five. So these five dudes total striking back, there's an additional attack for the champion in the unit, and one of them is a great weapon carrying runesmith. Yeah. So, so I've got order. four men into your unit. Into your Forsaken, sorry. Yes. Uh, I'm three hits. Five, so three hit. A single wound with AP three. Because my runesmith gives me armor bane two. Ooh. And this into my Forsaken. So yep. I've got no just, save, just five chaos. up chaos. Again. <laughs> <laughs> my runesmith uh, hits once with his greatest weapon. So this is just a chaos save again. Right. So chaos save. No. So they can't really kill many, but also they don't die. Yeah. That's my forsaken. Um, so I've done four minus one because you've done a wound. Yeah. So that's three combat res in my favour. Well, you've, sorry, you've killed. Yeah, you've killed four, and I, you've got a flank charge for five. Yeah. Then I have a banner, and I'm close order, and I killed one back. So you win by two overall. Cool. Which requires me to roll a seven, a three, and a oh. gonna say. So I fall back in good order because right. you don't double me. And I'm going to follow up because yep. it's going into Ian's turn. Perfect. Right, so you fall back one d6 or two d6 pick the highest, is it? Yeah. Diagonally away. <laughs> um, my Forsaken just about get in. Yep. And my swift stridey marauders get in. Definitely get in. Um, and it's into Ian's four. Okay. So my gyrocopter is going to declare a charge on your marauders. <laughs> I'm going to fire and flee. What a coward. <laughs> Roll it up. Or actually, you're a skirmisher, so if I do that... Oh no, to pursue me, you've got to run me down, haven't you? I'm just going to stand and shoot. Yeah, cool. I'm just going to stand and shoot. Sweet. So I can do this because I've got fast shots quick, on my Yeah, you've got quick, quick shots, shot. so you can do it any, any range. So I'm ballistic skill three. So I need fours normally, minus one for stand and shoot. And I'm a skirmisher. Yeah, so sixes. No. Cool. And I need to roll anything. <laughs> yeah, because you're movement ten. Yes. Or nine. <laughs> uh, or whatever you are. Yeah, it's enough. Over here, I will do nothing. I will just stand still. Uh, shooting phase, because that, that's, that's all my stuff. I will do six crossbows into your... My lone character? Nah, into your Chaos Knights. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. why not? So there'll be long range. Cool. Long range. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. Fives. Oh, there we go. Uh, strength four, tough four. One at AP three. Yep. And one regular. At uh, AP zero. Oh, AP zero. Yeah. The AP zero is a two up. Nice. And the AP minus three is a five up. Perfect. With a five up chaos armor. Great. <laughs> Good. 
great. <laughs> that was on Ian's dice as well. I just that like was to point it. out. Fun. Yeah. Uh, cool. It's, it's now, changed owners. <laughs> now we're into melee. Yeah. Do you want to do the organ gun or do you want to do the iron breakers? I would do the organ gun, why not? Okay. So I go first, you just gave ground, so I've only got my normal mook yeah. attacks, not flails. One hit, <laughs> doesn't wound. The horse! Doesn't wound. Cool. Your dude back. Lone man. Hits <sighs> you. Wounds, I've got a six up save. No, he's dead. Nice. They're all dead. <laughs> and then I will... Yeah, I'll just stand there. That's absolutely fine. Are you not going to overrun? <laughs> no, not really. Oh, I could do. I could overrun. Can that. you overrun with yeah, machines? Not? I don't think so. So let's just not... <laughs> uh, the melee here. You're, you're going first because you recharged. Right, so my Forsaken, there are six of them. And it doesn't matter what order, like technically I suppose no. the other ones are first, but it doesn't matter because they're all before Ian's. Oh, what's their random? <laughs> yeah. Their random is two, or like a two and a D3, which is... The AP. The, okay. Yeah, the AP minus two. Cool. So I've got two threes and four twos. So, and then four twos. Perfect. Awesome. Easy. So that's 14 attacks. Right, so because you missed with loads, now you're going to wound with all of them? That is, that, seems, is that how we're That's running. the spike that we're seeing. Yeah, so it's six hits. There we go. <laughs> oh, four wounds. <laughs> nice. That's the best I've done all day. Uh, so AP2. So threes go to fives. Reroll the ones. Reroll the one. Yeah. Nice. Oh. I did a thing, and then I've got my no ward save because you are. Because they're magical, magical attacks. attacks. Yeah, my exalted champion. Gets four, but only hits once. Okay. Obviously, this will be a six now. No, but he's minus two. Cool. Uh, wound, and but it is mag it's not. He's not magical because it's a lance. It kills one to the side. Chaos steed doesn't hit. Two marauder horses don't hit, <laughs> and then three for the horsemen don't hit. Okay, cool. I'll do one to the side of the marauders. Yes. Because you've killed one, and then the other four to the front. So one to the side, he hits you. Oh, because I'm weapon skill five. five. And I wound you because I'm trained four. Oh, son of a bitch. Ch with AP one. Ch Sixes. No. Uh, oh, AP one, I've got nothing actually. So. Okay, cool. Sweet. The Smith champion and a regular gun. So the Ironbreakers forwards into the Forsaken, get two hit. Get AP minus one. AP minus one and AP minus three, because of my rules. AP minus one is a six. AP minus three is a nothing. And then five up chaos armor. Yeah. Two die. <gasps> this is my turn. Ian, it's your turn. It's your turn. <laughs> so my, three total wounds. My runesmith as well. Yeah. Hits you twice. And he's straight six. Two. So these are AP. Two five ups. Yeah. No, two more dead. These would be, just to point out, AP minus six. Um. Because he has armor bane two for a great, oh, great weapons of one. Great weapons of two. Yeah, so he's. AP2, armor bane. Oh, I, I, I can't. One or two. Off the top of my head. And then he also has the runesmith armor bane, so all of those things. Do they stack? Do they not replace? It's relevant now, but we're going to say they do because team <laughs> numbers look better. But yeah, we, we'll check that afterwards as well. So, right, combat res. Yes. One. So, combat res for Max is three killed and you still have the flank charge. Yes. For me, I killed a marauder. You killed five total. I killed five total. Right, so I'm one up with a banner. Two up. Two up. What is your unit strength? Uh, one, two, three, seven. My unit strength of the Forsaken is two, and my unit strength of the Marauder Horse is four. It's four. <laughs> so we've just looked at the Armour yeah. Bane rule as well as the unit strength rules. Yes. Ian is very happy because the Armour Bane rules definitely stacked. Despite the fact it was irrelevant, because you only had heavy armor, but it's still very cool. Big numbers are nice yeah. and little numbers. Yeah. Uh, my unit strength for whether I break on a failed modified test or not will be combined so Ian doesn't outnumber my Forsaken by more than double. Yeah. Because actually I'm six total unit strength in the combat and Ian is seven. Cool. Um, how many did I lose by Ian? Just two. Two. Right, so my Forsaken on leadership seven because my general's around. Oh, even there, yeah. Run. <laughs> my exalted champion. <laughs> run, run. Okay. 
So I'm going to try and flee. I'm going to try and cut down your exalted champions. I'm going to use swift stride then, because I'd prefer to run off the board than have you cut me down. Sweet. Let's do that. All right. There you go. Very, very off the board. Off the board. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, and my pursue for them will be six. Seven. Seven oh, six. six. Yeah. 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 I go, will you measure me out a 15 as well, please? Yeah. Very off the board. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, but the story continues for her. The, the Forsaken are going to run... Ten. Well, they are pretty fast. They've been rapido. They've been all the time. Uh, horrifying this game. Yeah, is I, I've given them too little credit when I've been looking at the list to be honest. Yeah. So, my turn four. My turn. Your turn four. Yeah. I'll just double turn. My turn five. Wellity, wellity, wellity. Into this combat. Sweet. I charged with my gyrocopter. What initiative for you? I was only two inches away, so I'm initiative four. Ah, so Which you are more than, you? more than me, I think. Nice. I'd be very surprised if not. I'm initiative three. Yeah, perfect. So my gyrocopter gets impact hits because it's kind of like a little... Ch little well, you're two inches away, so I don't believe you get them. So, uh, yeah. so I don't get any impact hits, as we've just discovered, because I was too close. But I have two attacks at weapon skill four. Not on that. And my you flails are popping <laughs> yeah. because it's the first round of combat. Yeah. I get one hit, a four will wound, no. Horses, two uh, hits. Uh -oh. One wound from the horses. Oh no. Ah, <laughs> ah. Oh, oh. Drawn combat, I've got a you position. You have a position, <laughs> no. It all went wrong. Oh, oh. God <laughs> he damn. failed. Yeah, I'm Obviously gonna, pursuing. I'm gonna Obviously swift pursuing. stride away. Uh, it doesn't matter, right? You just added it. Nine. Eight, because you're a dwarf. They don't have resolute, I've just left, right. which isn't. Ten. Nice. Die, Gyro. <laughs> and I think ten might take me into that dwarf character. But you're going to break your legs in the trees. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Difficult terrain test. And we forgot about it here, but now you're going to run double ones and <laughs> just break, break both your legs. <laughs> oh, if one dies, the musician nice. dies. Nice. Uh, and I don't think I'll actually clip you anyway. Oh, really? Like with him. Yeah, I think I go... Like, I go that way, right? Fair. What were you? So I'll be right there. Cool. And I'll be, I need to take a terrain test for him at the end. Does he die at the start of my turn? No. Cool. Right. And then he's into Chaos 5. Yeah. More people behind. So at the start of Chaos turn 5, um, I'm going to try and rally with my Sorceress. Cool. Now, because she's in command range with my general, who has Rally and Cry, she'll get to re-roll if she fails. Oh, great. But she doesn't. Sweet. Spin around for me, please, Ian. Oh, in fact, I can reform in any direction, can't she's I? She's also a skirmisher. Because <laughs> she's a lone character. Yes. Um, well, I don't think she is because she's on horse, so I think she has a charge attack and stuff. What were we looking for? Lone characters. Yeah. So... <laughs> so my Marauder is in the way of my ranked up unit charging the Runesmith. My... My Chaos Knights. Yeah. And I'm going to remember my Gaze of the Gods. <laughs> <laughs> I get a one, re-roll that. Cause two, plus one initiative this turn. Well done, Gaze of the Gods. So that's three initiatives he's had? Yes, this game. Okay. I'm not going to complain because I didn't just you didn't roll become stupid. stupid. Yeah. So my knights are there. And thanks to the 45 degree template, I'm going to charge into the rear. I'm going to charge into the rear of your iron breakers, Ian. Okay. What do you want to do? With who? Psh. Uh, I'll flee, because I'll flee out of your arc. Then you just can't charge me, right? Yes, yes, let's go with that. Yeah. And you'll be going that way. Cool. A flea for me. So then I'm going to redirect into your organ gun. Sweet. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> and, all, and all die because of dangerous terrain. Hopefully. Right, so let's, let's do some dangerous terrains for them. Because I'm definitely in. So I've got five Chaos Knights. Watch this be five dead Chaos Knights. It's more damage than Ian has done to the, That's the same. That's equal damage. <laughs> equal damage. And my lord, no. 
the bane of night. Trees. <laughs> and he'll, Ian will rank up. Right. <laughs> your, your iron breakers, Ian, what do you want to do with them? Oh, you, they're, you're, they're, ra you're running, right? They're fleeing. So, here you are. Five. Four, Four, because you're a dwarf. Perfect. Oh, it's, it's actually this way from where I was before. Okay, cool. Yeah. So away from your table, Adrian, which is good for you. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Sweet. Next, I'm going to... I do cause panic though, right? Because I'm fleeing. Move here with my dogs. So I'd have to do a panic check. So one thing that we've just realised is none of us, or neither of us, have been taking tests for falling back in good order. No. Nope. Call it equal? Yes. Call it equal? <laughs> yeah. Start the game again? Yeah, sure. Right, and my character, can you... I can go 14 inches with her. Just get her on the other side of the Chaos Knights for me, will you? Do you not want to do your magic missile? No, I want to run away from you faster than you'll be able to quarrel me. Yeah, and do you know what? He'll go there. To uh, be the closer unit to the Quarrelers. Combat into the organ gun. Jebe's going to just strike with his sword and get this done with. Four hits. Dwarf's dead. Dwarf's dead? Dwarf's no, dead. No, what are the chances? And I'm going to overrun 15 and take my dangerous terrain checks. So it's four knights, Jebe. Cool. So, all fine, and 15 forwards. Like, I'll measure that, no, damn you. you. So, <laughs> that's 12, 15. Cool. Right, and that's over to Ian's five. Yeah. Uh, no charges. Yeah. Rally. They rally. Into the tray, or it don't count. Oh. No, that doesn't happen. <laughs> when it's so obvious, it's, it's more when we're in the midst of a big game. Yeah, true. They're gonna and do you know, like, and I don't know where to point the camera. Yeah, that's it fair, needs that's to fair. be Trey. They will reform there. Yep. Um, cool. And then I shall... <laughs> move no further. Fire at my little model. And I will spitefully shoot at your <laughs> skirmishing marauder. Yep, 60 to hit. Yeah. Well, I haven't moved, so long range skirmish. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yep. Nope. <laughs> that would have been one hit in short range. <laughs> okay, cool. Right. Your turn six. Right, so final turn. My <laughs> warriors are going to charge your engineer. Cool. And that's it. Sweet. My knight's going to form into a marching column. Oh, let's, let's resolve the charge first, I suppose. <laughs> let's do it in the correct order. Cool. So the warriors, get in. Oh, you'd have to discard the highest. One of those fives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's all coming up Millhouse right at the end. Uh, my knights, I'm going to form into a marching column. And... 12. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out we were fighting for that tower. 21. We just didn't know. But like, I'm just beginning the sort of Mongol style ride round in circles, throat singing. <laughs> My character here is going to go 12, 14. Cool. My dog's going to turn on the spot and go 5. And my skirmishing marauder is going to go 12, 14. Right, so combat. Yeah. Your base is 25, so I'm going to get 2 in. Of my chosen yes. chaos. Yep. So that's five attacks, cool. and then I've got five that are just front rank all gets to fight. I'm gonna challenge you. <sighs> you better off refusing. <laughs> but I know. What I know. would what would chaos do? I'm gonna accept. Perfect. And then you're gonna run and be caught down. So the the silly thing that we haven't done this game is hide in challenges. Because we accepted with our lords on lord, right? Yeah, well, that was we had a yeah. little discussion for yeah. doing it, didn't we? But it seems that you can feed people champions and then just they get overkill on that one guy, but it doesn't spill out into the unit. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. 
We haven't done that. But that's always been a thing, and it's a thing in Heresy, it's a thing in every game where there's a challenge mechanic. And I I like the fact that there is a challenge mechanic more than I hate the fact that you can hide. It only becomes a real problem if you have... Dragons. If someone has a lone character, and you can just go, oh, I'll win on combat res even if you overkill this character by 10. Well, I I think if it's, it's a problem when... More of a problem. When there is a lone character that is so good... That with the overkill of five plus the three wounds of a lord or one wound of a champion, that six beats your static combat res. Yeah, you and now I win. Able, you haven't yeah. been able to attack back. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that's when yeah. it's horrendous. Well, we'll see. Anyway, dragons next week. <laughs> dragons next week. Dragons next week. <laughs> no. No. So, my champion gets three attacks. What weapon skill are you? Five. Oh, yeah. Two hits, strength four, nothing, nothing. I said five so confidently. Four. Uh, roll a nut, you did roll a three. Nothing. <laughs> uh, so my engineer is two attacks at weapon skill four. So four's to hit. Nope. <laughs> Perfect. So uh, neither of us got each other down. You're disordered, because you charged into Difficult. Yeah. So you I'm, just have a banner. I'm close and, and a banner. banner. And I'm more than double you. Uh, yeah, let's send it. He He's gives fine. Yeah. And I'm going to follow you. Oh, perfect. Cool. Yeah, we'll just so stay, stay there. there. Cool. My turn six. I yeah. will... Do nothing. <laughs> no, 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 no. They'll both... <laughs> <laughs> that guy that reform can't move like that. How dare you? Yeah. How dare you? I was going to turn of the game. change it, but you know, I don't know the rule. Combat. Yeah, do the combat. Ongoing combat. <laughs> My champion has one hit. Yes. No wounds. Yours, one hit. What strength are you? Four. You strength four? Yeah. Nice. What's your armor? AP1. Oh. Yes. Gromrel <laughs> weapon. Uh, my champion dies, meaning you lose only by one this time. Yes. No, by two, because now your rank counts again. <laughs> All right. Because okay. are you now not disorder? Okay. I, I don't know. It's a number. It's, <laughs> it actually sort of matters. I flee. <laughs> Do you Yeah, who cares? A three and a, sorry, a one and a, so I, I run away four. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to test to restrain. Oh. I oh, do. You wouldn't have caught me. That would have been, that would have been the cool. And good game. Yeah. Thanks very much. <laughs> and we'll join everyone in the outro yeah. for how we think the armies did and a breakdown of the game. Yeah. So that was the second battle report on the channel. Ian. A loss to you. Commiserations. I can't hide my glee too much. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were just happy that the gyrocopters that I was bigging up did nothing. Well, not just that. Like, they are very mobile. Yes. And I think with less aggre- I think you I can't, I brought played the them a bit more aggressively brought the fight than you, you probably should. Yeah. Because I managed to pin them down straight away. Rather than you just relentlessly, if you if you'd have got first turn, you could have flown over me and just relentlessly like flamed me yeah. all game, and there was probably nothing I could do about that, other yeah. than like obviously I'd got some skirmishers. Yeah. So that that was my plan to deal with them. It just allowed me to immediately get on the front foot. And I kept rolling elevens. Yes. My <laughs> for my leadership, which isn't my favourite, but well, well I, I think it says a lot. Both times they got defeated was by drawn combat broken by a musician and you rolling an 11, not by me destroying the unit. Yeah, true. Yeah, so their toughness and save never actually came into it. It was more yeah. lack of <laughs> lack of imperviousness to being run down. Um, but yeah, otherwise, the having been our first game, I think we got a lot of the rules right. I think we got some rules wrong. We had to go back sometimes to do stuff. Yeah. Um, well, that's right. Yeah, Ian nicely let me go back and redo a load of Gaze of the Gods stuff. Yeah, which... And I think we'll all be getting stuff like that wrong at the start. Yeah. And me wrong well past the start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you put play more than one game system, though, so... You, um, well, that's, that's part of it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, um, 
what can I say, shield wall and stubborn, an excellent combination. It was finding out as the game went on, like, oh, I have these two, what do they do? That seems really good. Um, it just made them survive a little bit. Those longbeards survived a little bit longer. I think the Ironbreakers would, would probably have given ground anyway, rather than... But yes, well, they just relentlessly yeah, did it. But I think maybe even... Where, you didn't have a BSB, did you either? No. I think no, with no. a BSB, you wouldn't have had to pop the, the shield wall and stubborn yeah. so early, and maybe when they got charged in the flank by the Warriors, that's when you could have popped it, yeah, and then true. they wouldn't have got... Do you know, like... And it's learning these nuances, yeah. and obviously a BSB is so key to re-rolling those breaks. Yeah. You can also I'm give... going to need a BSB. I think you need a BSB. Yeah, you can give a BSB an oath stone as well. So that does something with your facings. Like... Well, so I think you've got no rear or flanks, You, but then you can't move again for the rest of the game off the top of my head. Yeah, maybe. But even if it's that, if someone's brought their units to you, having that ability to then be even... Tougher, even sturdier. Yeah, it could be, could be quite big. And I think it fits the dwarf very well. Yeah, I'm. F I was hoping to be more dynamic, moving forward towards you, bringing the fight to you. But your army's very fast. Well, I think that's one thing of it, especially with the drilled on the knights, allowing me to zip right round. Yeah. So you couldn't shoot them. Yeah. yeah. In the first turn, or any turn, literally they didn't get shot at. No. No. Um, and yeah, the entire army because they're all bearing down on you straight away. It just doesn't allow that, even from even from a dwarf player. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. even at, when I've played high elves in sixth with, that are just as manoeuvrable, because all of mine is manoeuvrable, not yeah. just a portion. If they go forwards really aggressively, I can usually gank that unit with, like, and just like collapse in on it, and then units, I'll worry yeah. about the rest of the army and the rest of the game. So it it just feeds me a bit stuff faster if you do that. I think you took a, the right strategy. Like against it, really. I <laughs> yeah, think, maybe. I think the downfall of you and and me was we rolled terribly. I just rolled slightly less terribly. Your rolls that you were failing were less important. Like you were failing to hit and to wound. Yeah. I was failing the leadership to get cut down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's exactly. just where those dice come in, right? It's where those. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we played yeah. enough games that it happens. Stuff. It happens. does. But yeah, I definitely made mistakes. I sure that you think you made some mistakes as well but in just the way we played but we're just trying to learn right yeah so um, so Ian is hopefully going to do a guide with me for dwarfs <laughs> which we're going to yeah. or at least a breakdown of yeah, what initial a breakdown. thoughts my guide won't be too the good because <laughs> <laughs> it was a, just a resounding bump on the head for the dwarfs yes and I think if you were watching this now unless you're a Patreon the guide will be out first conversely okay cool so yeah, if you want early access to this battle report and future battle reports, the Patreon is the way to go. And we'll catch everyone next time, right? Yeah, for sure. In a bit. See ya.